Chapter 1121. Court Death. It was as if that the ancient sky were frozen, creating a horribly depressive atmosphere. Four minds became four huge phantoms and arrived at three different locations. A being with a gigantic silver snake's head and a strange beast covered with a sawtooth shell appeared in one location. A breathtaking being appeared at another location. A giant oval-shaped phantom was at another. We all know what happened already. The voice of the breathtaking being, Bug Empress, was still gentle and seductive as usual. Lo Feng performed a supreme technique of a universe master and created a miniature universe, and all the 6,000-something universe knights trapped inside were killed instantly. He also defeated Master of Banff and went back to the Thousand Treasures River of his teacher, Primal Chaos City Leader. Empress, Master of Banff, you chose this. The Black Oval Phantom said angrily. A hoarse voice came from the strange, sawtooth shelled beast. Bug Empress it said, Master of Banff executed that, and your alliance should bear more responsibilities. The voice from Bug Empress sounded cold. You've agreed to this. Besides, who could have expected Lo Feng to perform a supreme technique of a universe master? Even if it had been a universe master from your races, it wouldn't have done a better job. The other two demon ancestors and father god from the automaton race understood this, but they had lost too much this time. Only a few of the fallen 6,000 universe knights had multiple body techniques. Besides, Lo Feng had killed an additional 800, meaning there were around 7,000 universe knights to be resurrected. And they were at least senior universe knights. This was a terrific figure. The issue had to do with the distribution of responsibilities, which was why the beings of the demon race and he automaton race brought up the fact that Master of Banff had fallen short, following which they could demand more. Humph. Bug Empress snorted. We'll resurrect the universe knights of our own. Don't even think about asking us, the Bug Alliance, to revive more. Empress said the being with the giant snake's head. We, the Demon Alliance, sent the most universe knights this time. More than half of the universe knights on that original star were of the Demon Alliance. And more than half of the universe knights who died were from Demon Alliance. We contributed the most, and now, we're responsible for the most? Not fair. We didn't force you to send so many universe knights, said Bug Empress. You sent all those universe knights voluntarily, and now, it's your responsibility to bear the consequence. Besides, we agreed before that we would be responsible for our own universe knights who died. Nobody expected that so many universe knights would die. They all thought that only few universe knights would die. They only realized that they'd been wrong after Lo Feng's Masha body had shown up. They could still have dealt with the death toll at that point. However, the one-time massacre at the end had left them hurting. And now, they were quarreling with each other. Even supreme beings like Universe Supreme Masters wouldn't acquiesce easily when it came to race interests. Plus, the stakes were huge this time. Resurrecting one senior Universe Knight would severely injure a Universe Master. Only those Universe Masters with gigantic godly bodies like World Tree and Mountain Giant were able to revive more. The size of godly bodies determined the number of Universe Knights that a Universe Master was able to revive. The larger their godly bodies were, the more they were able to revive. However, there were around 7,000 Universe Knights. The dead Universe Overlords alone were a huge burden to those four Universe Supreme Masters, and there were only so many Universe Masters within the three alliances. They wouldn't be able to resurrect all those Universe Knights, even if all of them were injured. In my opinion said the oval-shaped phantom, we should stop arguing and go ask Nine Remoteness Master for help. Nine Remoteness Master's Nine Remote Ocean rivals a supreme true treasure, and it's totally able to resurrect 7,000 Universe Knights. The more one resurrects, the more serious the backlash from the universe would be. Said the Silver Snake-headed being. Nine Remote Master is indeed able to withstand the backlash using his Nine Remoteness Ocean. However, most of the Universe Knights who died haven't been to Nine Remoteness Ocean, which means Nine Remoteness would have to come here to resurrect them. Nine Remote Ocean cannot be moved a godly body made by Nine Remoteness Master. His godly bodies are able to revive a Universe Knight initially, but the backlash will be much stronger later. And he might not be able to revive one Universe Knight. All of them went quiet. The Universe would punish those who turned back time to revive great beings, as it was against a Universe Operation Law. The more one went against it, the more serious the punishment would be, as it was provoking the Universe origin. Of course, Nine Remoteness Ocean was able to withstand it. Unfortunately, Nine Remoteness Ocean couldn't be moved. We can't let all the Universe Masters revive the universe, Knight said the oval-shaped phantom. 
it'll severely weaken our alliances, but we can't take too long to revive them, as we've already made a promise. I think we can go ask those universe masters of special life forms. Our alliances have several, and the Northern Territory Alliance and the Ancestral God School have many more. Each of them is able to resurrect more than 100 universe knights, and we'll be responsible for those universe overlords, after which we can revive some universe knights. The universe supreme masters quickly reached an agreement. It was the plan that was least costly. The responsibilities would be distributed equally, each alliance lost one pinnacle domain type true treasure, which pained those universe supreme masters. The plan to resurrect universe knights is settled said the black phantom. We need to talk about that Lo Feng now. We have to kill Lo Feng. Said Bug Empress. He has the multiple bodies technique, and he has tremendous power said the strange sawtooth shelled beast in an old raspy voice. Even universe masters can't deal with him unless we go kill him ourselves. However, there are only four of us. There's no way we should all go. Yet we won't be able to catch him if only one of us goes. Regardless, I agree with you, Bug Empress. We suffered great losses this time, and our alliances will be seen as a joke to other powers in the universe. We need to kill at least one of his bodies. I agree sand the beast with the silver snake's head. Kill one of his bodies and take his true treasures. Said the oval phantom. Otherwise, we'll be laughed at forever. Lo Feng has a masha body said the beast in his old voice, and he's extremely fast. We might not be able to catch him. Even if he can get out of original stars said Bug Empress, we'll keep hunting him, and we'll kill him and seize his true treasures. They all understood that Lo Feng killing all those universe knights had already brought shame upon them. Even if killing one of Lo Feng's bodies didn't help much, they would become a complete joke if they couldn't even kill one body of Lo Feng. Ask other universe masters to track Lo Feng. We'd better constrain him. Dream T, you'll be responsible for it. Okay. On original star number 02933, a blurry shadow of Primal Chaos City leader materialized in front of Lo Feng within Thousand Treasures River. The real body of Primal Chaos City leader was more than 18 billion miles away from Lo Feng. Teacher, you want me to court death? Lo Feng was shocked. Our alliance all cheered what you did, and I would have done the same thing if I were you, said the Phantom of Primal Chaos City leader. However, the three alliances were the ones who did wrong first, so they couldn't respond excessively. Lo Feng nodded. Universe masters were usually forbidden to commit mass slaughtering among superpowers. Otherwise, it would be provoking another power, which might eventually lead to war. However, the three alliances had wanted to kill Lo Feng first, so it wouldn't lead to war. But they need to save face. Continued Primal Chaos City Leader. Those three alliances suffered such great losses from you. If they just let it go, they'll be ridiculed by the entire universe. They will attack you again, and a universe supreme master might arrive. To save face, they must kill you, even if they only kill one of your bodies. You can put all your true treasures with other bodies and send one of your bodies, like Masha body, and let him court death. It'll only take a little bit of your godly power, and those three alliances can publicly claim that they killed you. Primal Chaos City leader looked at Lo Feng. What do you think? Lo Feng pondered what Primal Chaos City leader had said. He wasn't a fool. If it weren't for the plan he already had, he would have said yes. After all, it wasn't a shame at all for Masha Body to die at the hands of a universe supreme master. Unfortunately, it would go against his blood cloud plan. Teacher, I won't fight them, said Lo Feng, but I won't just walk to my own death. Teacher, you know what I'm capable of. I can certainly get out of the original star easily. Even if you do, they'll keep hunting you, said Primal Chaos City Leader. Just let your Masha body die and get it over with. Chapter 1122. The Great Freedom. Thousand Treasure River condensed to form a blurred image of Primal Chaos City Leader, who was smiling as he spoke. Your opponent killed you so easily, and of course, they knew that you allowed yourself to be killed on purpose. But they wanted face. You are a new and upcoming individual, so bowing down to the three top powers was not a big deal. But this time, over 6,000 universe knights were killed in one go. It is news big enough to shock the entire universe. Your fame has skyrocketed. No single great being would dare belittle you anymore, including the universe supreme beings. Lo Feng nodded. Even if the enemies were the three great alliances, even if they wanted to kill Lo Feng, they had to admit. Not one of them dared to underestimate him. Teacher, allowing my Masha body out would be equivalent to asking me to watch it get killed by our opponents without doing anything to help. Lo Feng shook his head. 
Courting death in such a manner is not my cup of tea. Even if they were to kill me in the future, they would have to do so with true capability. Since you have made up your mind, I will not stop you, said Primal Chaos City Leader. It's just that the bad blood between you and the three great alliances will continue to intensify. Lo Feng smiled and said, there is nothing to fear, even if there is much hatred. His smile carried absolute confidence. He had established a name for himself within the universe, but he had relied solely on himself to achieve all these. Of course he was not afraid of any great being. Good. Primal Chaos City leader's blurred image nodded and replied, what should be done? You just go ahead and do it. Yes. Lo Feng gave a slanted smile, and right away, he started to summon his Masha body out, while his original earthling body went back into the world ring. Shua. 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 Lo Feng's Masha body flashed continuously. Being within the Thousand Treasure River domain did not cause any interference to his speed at all. Lo Feng was able to maintain a speed of a few million miles per second, and it only took him a minute or two to make it to the next nearest whirlpool tunnel. There were a total of 10,081 whirlpool tunnels on every original star, and the distance between two such whirlpool tunnels was approximately 600 million miles. Time to go. Lo Feng went through this whirlpool tunnel immediately and arrived at another original star, original star number 0829. Ha ha ha. Masha Lo Feng displayed his talent technique domain once again, and within a mere five minutes, he went through another whirlpool tunnel and arrived at another original star. Domain was an uncommon talent technique that only gifted ones could possess. Some could not be mastered even with due diligence. Just like the talent technique of dividing bodies, a skill that made many universe masters go green with envy. Domain allowed Masha body to fuse with space in an instant and break away thereafter. Why was the fusion possible? It was because the Masha body possessed a life crystal with 10,081 different planes. Before its transformation, it might have reached a consensus with the space laws and thus possessed heightened senses, but it was still unable to fuse with space. Upon absorbing the essence of the heart of space however, this life crystal had started to undergo changes. That was when it had gained the ability to completely fuse with space. Universe masters and universe supreme beings were unable to completely fuse with space and were thus unable to become a part of space. About 10 minutes after Lo Feng left original star number 02933, a towering and winding, gigantic silver snake emerged from the whirlpool tunnel and remained suspended in midair. Hong. Limitless power spread throughout the entire original star within a split second. Unbelievable willpower shrouded the whole original star. In the brief moment, he had taken control over all of time and space on this part of the original star. The control over time and space by universe masters was always a far cry when compared to that of universe supreme beings, who were even able to bring about a temporary withdrawal of universe laws. Of course, original stars were situated nearest the land of origins of the universe. The universe origins could not be defied or provoked, in the land of origins, not even universe supreme beings could teleport about, and one's flying speed was unable to surpass the speed of light. After all, if one were to engage in a fight with the universe origins, even the mightiest universe supreme beings would be on the losing end. Dream Demon Ancestor. All the universe masters, including Primal Chaos City Leader and Long Yan Master, showed their respects. Primal Chaos City Leader, where is your disciple, Lo Feng? Dream Demon Ancestor's voice was transmitted through space and immediately resonated in Primal Chaos City Leader's ears. My disciple, Lo Feng, left this original star earlier. Primal Chaos City Leader smiled. Since Dream Demon Ancestor is here, Long Yan Master, and I shall take our leave. Let's go. Primal Chaos City Leader and Long Yan Master sped toward the Whirlpool Tunnel that was not far behind them and made their exit from this original star through the tunnel. Humph. A grunt resonated throughout the entire original star. Dream Demon Ancestor sneered after them, enraged. All of you nine universe masters must start heading out to the other original stars he ordered. Search every original star you get to and find Lo Feng. Understood. Universe masters were highly efficient when it came to conducting searches. The moment they arrived at the various original stars, they would gain control of time and space right away. At that point, scouring the entire planet was a piece of cake. Lo Feng's Masha body and other disguises would all be rendered useless. Besides, all three alliances had each sent close to ten universe masters to conduct large-scale searches. After all, during the opening of the original stars, there were already a sizable number of universe masters entering the stars in search of treasures. 
The only trouble was that flying from one whirlpool tunnel to another was quite time-consuming. One after the other, universe masters were arriving. They all started to us control of time and space which shocked the numerous universe knights who were clueless about the major event that had brought about this large-scale search. However, very quickly, they all caught wind of the news of the unbelievable event that had happened on original star number 02933. Such a major event would never be able to be kept under wraps. Furthermore, the Hong Alliance had been adding fuel to the fire, hence causing the news to spread even faster. Lo Feng has defeated Master of Banff? With one stance of his talent technique, he killed over 6,000 Universe Knights, and those were all at least at the level of senior Universe Knights. There were even a few Universe Overlords. This is not a joke, right? It's true. The news is already spreading. Over 6,000 Universe Knights, all killed with one move? Has Lo Feng become a Universe Master? God? Blade River Emperor? Wrong? He should now be Blade River Master. Back when I was in the Ancestral God School, in the virtual space above the open public square, I witnessed his fight against Bark Mirror Emperor. It happened not too long ago, probably only around 20,000 years. Since then he has become a Universe Master? What a miracle! What unbelievable defiance! This Lo Feng. He is so powerful. Over 6,000 Universe Knights. If I could kill over 6,000 Universe Knights in one move, my name would be remembered throughout the universe, and countless races would come to know me and continue to spread my name. If this is the case, even if I were to be annihilated right away, I would do so with a most willing heart. You must be out of your mind. The explosive news hit the billions of races like a tornado and drove countless great beings into a frenzied state. This was practically a fairy tale. The unbelievable rate at which Lo Feng had risen was what made countless Universe Knights look up to him. He now stood on the highest pinnacle, shoulder to shoulder with all the other Universe Masters. Of one accord, they all started to address Lo Feng as Blade River Master. Lo Feng was indeed stepping on the three major races and had defeated over 6,000 Universe Knights to become a legend who shocked the universe. It was equivalent to announcing to the trillions of races, I, Lo Feng, have officially joined the ranks of pinnacle great beings of the vast universe. Among the hills in original star number 03129, a being wearing a blood-red battle robe and a mask, with a pair of golden horns on his head and a tail extending out from behind his robe, made himself comfortable by leaning against a mound behind him. Lo Feng smiled. So comfortable. With his masha body, he continuously went through one whirlpool tunnel to the next at high speed. After three consecutive transfers through three different whirlpool tunnels, he decided to remain on original star number 03129, where he quickly put his Masha body back in his world ring and let his golden horned beast body take the form of Blood Cloud Palace Master before coming out. Now, Masha body and his original Earthling body are in the world ring while on the outside. There was Blood Cloud Palace Master. The renowned Blood Cloud Palace Master. Ha ha ha. Lo Feng leaned against a mound and laughed out loud. How carefree. It was such a chore being on the run previously, where he also had many things to take account for. For example, taking care not to compromise any of the Hong Alliance's benefits. Now that he had a change in identity, transforming into Blood Cloud Palace Master, he did not need to worry about anything more, since Blood Cloud Palace Master already was everyone's enemy. This sort of freedom to wander about anywhere in a carefree manner was satisfying. Lo Feng stretched out his hands, and a long shuttle with red lines appeared. One end of the shuttle was thick while the other was sharp, and it seemed very ordinary. In fact, this was Star Tower in another form after being disguised by Blood Cloud Pearl. Blood Cloud Pearl was extremely powerful in its ability to use disguises, but, of course, the disguises would not be too far off the mark to be considered ridiculous. For instance, it would be impossible to disguise Star Tower as a domain-type true treasure that would not work out. Star Tower was originally in the shape of a tower with a thick lower end and a sharp top, it was just slightly disguised into the form of an ancient long shuttle. Henceforth, this long shuttle was Blood Cloud Palace Master's new weapon. Lo Feng had lain in the same spot leisurely for more than an hour when a towering figure suddenly stepped through the Whirlpool Tunnel. He had a strong and burly built and was quite manlike, except for the fact that on his head were nine fiery red tentacles, and each tentacle was entwined with a flame. His eyes resembled flaming red rubies. He was the famous sinking fire master. Hung. Immeasurable power was unleashed within a split second and fell upon the entire original star. 
Across the original Star Universe Knights from the various powers of the universe initially felt shocked, but the next moment, they were all discussing amongst themselves. Ah, the Universe Master. The Universe Master has arrived. Could it be looking for Blade River Master, Lo Feng, too? Obviously, they had all heard the news that at that moment, Universe Masters of the Demon Alliance, the Bug Clan Alliance, and the Automaton Race Alliance were conducting a large-scale search for Lo Feng. As the search went on, Universe Masters of the other top powers who were on the 10,081 original stars joined in the fun of watching what was going to happen. They were all curious to know whether, in the end, the three great alliances efforts would come to naught or if they would finally succeed in killing Lo Feng. Hmm? Sinking Firemaster stood in mid-air and took control over time and space in this original star to search for Lo Feng, yet he discovered another presence. What a familiar aura. What familiar power. What familiar armor. What a familiar mask. A hint of shock flashed in Sinking Firemaster's eyes as he exclaimed, Blood Cloud Palace Master. If Lo Feng's offense was that he was too ruthless in his approach toward the three major alliances, then Blood Cloud Palace Master could be said to have created an even bigger storm. He was practically the nightmare of trillions of races within the universe, the universe's public enemy. Various universe knights and universe overlords had died at his hands. Even universe masters had been killed by him. I have found Blood Cloud Palace Master. Blood Cloud Palace Master is now on original star number 03129. Sinking Fire Master immediately transmitted the news to his other higher-ups of Demon Alliance, including Dream Demon Ancestor and Shock Demon Ancestor. Chapter 1123? Fierceness. Dream Demon Ancestor was still waiting for news on that original star we didn't find the human Lo Feng on original star number 08293. We didn't find the human Lo Feng on original star number 08448. The Universe Masters from the three alliances were adventuring the original stars, and they kept reporting back to Dream Demon Ancestor. Dream T, have you found Lo Feng? Inside the virtual space of Dream Ancestor Secret Region, a giant strange, sawtooth shelled beast emerged from the darkness and arrived at the palaces that belonged to Dream Demon Ancestor. He talked to the gigantic silver snake. No, we haven't. You still haven't? Shock Demon Ancestor growled. Lo Feng might have already made it back to the human territory, given how fast Masha body is. I think so. The giant snake's head turned around and looked at that strange beast. After all, it's a death mission for ordinary universe knights. As for universe masters, there are only so many universe masters of the three alliances, and they're scattered everywhere. It'll take them a long time to get there, during which time, Lo Feng can run far. He must have arrived back in human territory by now. Dream T, what can we do if that human Lo Feng keeps hiding in the primal universe? Asked Shock Demon Ancestor. Then we won't be able to do anything answered Dream Demon Ancestor. The primal universe is controlled by primal Chao City leader. Even if we go to the primal universe, we won't be able to rival primal chaos city leader. He can control the entire primal universe. They both went silent. It was common knowledge that primal chaos city leader was invincible in the primal universe. That low feng is being stupid. Said dream demon ancestor. Four pinnacle races have been fighting for an eternity, and no race has been able to annihilate the others. As long as there are universe supreme masters, the fights won't go too far. If Lo Feng is already able to perform such a terrific technique, it means he's already a universe supreme master. Perhaps he's not one yet said Shock Demon Ancestor. It doesn't matter now, Shock Horn. He has the power of a universe master. Not only does he have the ultimate techniques of a universe master, but he's even created a supreme technique of a universe master. At most, one of them is an inherited technique, which means others were created by him, and he has several bodies. The giant silver snake's head was swinging his body and sighing. Even if we go, we can only kill one of his bodies. We can't do more than that. If we can't kill him for good, it won't matter. If he's smart enough to send one body to come here, it'll be over. Dream Demon Ancestor was a little infuriated. However, we've all lost face. Three alliances will never let him off. All the three alliances wanted Lo Feng dead. After all, Lo Feng made them suffer great losses. Unfortunately, they had set Lo Feng up in the first place. Plus, Lo Feng had the Hong Alliance and the Ancestral God School to protect him. The Hong Alliance was one of the top nine superpowers in the universe. And the Ancestral God School was also secretly protecting Lo Feng. Given Lo Feng's own power, the three alliances could only kill him if they were willing to risk everything. 
if he was willing to send one of his bodies to be killed, they wouldn't go crazy. However, at this point, there was no chance for Lo Feng and the three alliances to ease the situation. Suddenly, their conversation was interrupted by a piece of breaking news. Dream Demon Ancestor, Shock Demon Ancestor, I've found Blood Cloud Palace Leader. Blood Cloud Palace Leader is on original star number 03129. Blood Cloud Palace Leader? Both Dream Demon Ancestor and Shock Demon Ancestor were stunned. That guy showed up? Shock Demon Ancestor said. He dares to show up? Humph. That maniac. Dream Demon Ancestor was also infuriated. He's been missing for millions of years and he shows up on an original star now? Even Universe Supreme Masters will find it difficult to kill him on an original star. What should we do now? Asked Shock Demon Ancestor. Spread the news and let everyone in the universe know. Said Dream Demon Ancestor. Blood Cloud Palace Leader is proficient in fleeing, and our Demon Race Alliance won't be able to catch him by ourselves. It's going to cost a lot to kill him. Besides, he's a common enemy to everyone in the universe. We can just let everyone contribute. Shock Demon Ancestor nodded. Okay. He. It's been a long while. He dares to show his face? The eyes of Dream Demon Ancestor glinted fiercely. Blood Cloud Palace Leader appeared on original star number 03129. The news was spread from the Demon Race Alliance to all the nine superpowers in the universe. Aside from the nine superpowers, powers like the Thorn Ring Alliance and the Nine Territory Alliance all knew about it as well. Inside the Ancestral God Palace of the Ancestral God School, there came a furious voice. Blood Cloud Palace Leader? Blood Cloud showed up? He dared to show up? Sky Beacon Godly Master. You'll lead the three universe masters under you. Go to the original star and kill that blood cloud. Yes, ancestral god. One of the guarding godly masters, Sky Beacon Godly Master, immediately led the other three universe masters and left the ancestral god palace. It's blood cloud. The Northern Territory Alliance had the greatest number of great beings, universe knights, and races. They had suffered the most losses back when Blood Cloud Palace Leader had roamed the universe committing mass slaughters. A great many great beings, including top-tier universe overlords, had been killed. Even a universe master had died. Blood Cloud Palace would kill anyone he didn't like, without any feud. Some great beings had once tried to butter him up and attempted to admit him into the Northern Territory Alliance, but they had been crushed and killed by Blood Cloud Palace Leader. All in all. Blood Cloud Palace Leader was a maniac and extremely evil. He had made himself an enemy to almost all the powers in the universe. After more than three million years, the resentment flooded the great beings' minds when they knew that Blood Cloud Palace Leader showed up again. And the seniors from the Northern Territory Alliance weren't able to withstand that, either. Blood Cloud Palace Leader disdained the Northern Territory Alliance to its very core. Immediately, twelve Universe Masters were ready to kill Blood Cloud Palace Leader. Maniac. That maniac dares to show up again? He thinks he's safer on the original star because Universe Supreme Masters can only fly? Leave him to me. I'll kill him. Me too. He killed me before, and fortunately for me, our Alliance leader resurrected me. Now that I'm a Universe Master, I'll kill him for insulting and killing me. Space Beast Alliance, Space God Mountain. Blood Cloud? He dares to show up? Space Beast Ancestor roared. The insult he brought upon our alliance will be paid for with his life. Ancestor, I'll go kill him, said a universe master. Me too, said another. That bastard. He ran away when I just arrived back then. Our golden horned beast bloodline will be part of this, too. Immediately, the Space Beast Alliance decided to send four universe masters to kill Blood Cloud Palace Leader. All the universe masters sent were exceptional ones. The Hong Alliance. The Virtual Universe, Hong Alliance City, Hong Alliance Palace. Hugh Jack's creator sat at the center while the palace leaders sat at the sides. That Blood Cloud Palace leader showed up after three million eras. What should we do, Hugh Jack's? Blood Cloud Palace leader didn't mess with us, the Hong Alliance said Hugh Jack's, and only our alliance managed not to suffer much from him. I don't think we should meddle this time. Besides, you know Blood Cloud Palace leader. His Blood Cloud Palace is a true treasure used to flee. There were discussions about within the Hong Alliance, but nobody was willing to be a part of this event. After all, Blood Cloud Palace Leader didn't mess with the Hong Alliance, and if the Hong Alliance meddled and Blood Cloud Palace Leader took revenge, it would end badly. Let's see how Blood Cloud Palace Leader fares, said Hugh Jacks. On original star number 03129. 
On a hilltop, Blood Cloud Palace leader leaned against a mound, looking quite tranquil. He wore a fiery cape and mask and had a long shuttle. Madness! exclaimed Lo Feng. Based on the news from the Hong Alliance, all the powers in the universe are going crazy. Teacher sitting mountain guest, how amazing you are. All the powers except the Hong Alliance want to kill you. Lo Feng shook his head in amazement. Even the ancestral god school and the Space Beast Alliance, with whom he had a great relationship, were coming after him. Almost there. The news is widespread already. Lo Feng nodded. He stood up immediately. He raised his head, looked around and whispered, perhaps all the powers have already taken action. Ha ha ha. Come and kill me. Just don't get killed by me instead. Hua. Lo Feng, wearing a fiery cape with a pair of golden horns, flew up into the air. Sinking Fire Master was performing control over space and time. He kept his eyes on Blood Cloud Palace Leader, and he heard everything Lo Feng said. Sinking Fire Master grew intimidated. He hadn't expected Blood Cloud Palace Leader to be this rampant. Blood Cloud Palace Leader is moving. He's moving. He's flying to the whirlpool closest to him. Sinking Fire Master immediately reported the news to Dream Demon Ancestor and Shock Demon Ancestor. The powers of the universe hadn't formed an encirclement around him yet. Dream Demon Ancestor replied with an order immediately. Sinking Fire Master, I order you to restrain Blood Cloud Palace Leader. Chapter 1124. The Might of Blood Cloud. You want me to stop him? Sinking Fire Master expressed his unwillingness at once. Although he was a member of the Demon Alliance, he was not actually of demon origin. Instead, he was a leader of a strong race. Blood Cloud Palace Master was infamous, and he had previously killed two Universe Masters. How strong he was. He definitely belonged to the ranks of Pinnacle Universe Masters. Sinking Fire Master might not be weak, but upon comparing, he still lost to Blood Cloud Palace Master. Just to pin him down. Dream Demon Ancestor ordered, besides, you still have your other bodies. I may have my other body said Sinking Fire Master, but this old fellow has not shown himself for more than three million eras. There is no way I can predict what he is capable of. If this body of mine is annihilated, my true treasures shall fall into his hands, too. Furthermore, I have a token of Zhen Chang Valley with me. Sinking Fire Master was unwilling to take the risk. He was the leader of a strong race, the entire race depended on him. Even if this body of yours were to be annihilated, when Blood Cloud Palace Master is killed, all your true treasures will eventually be returned to you Dream Demon Ancestor said. Even if Blood Cloud Palace Master survives this ordeal, whatever loss you incurred, my alliance shall compensate half the amount. Humph. You are the renowned Sinking Fire Master. Is it possible that you cannot even protect yourself from Blood Cloud Palace Master? All right. Said Sinking Fire Master. Since Demon Ancestor has promised, I shall make my advances. Sinking Fire Master ceased to hesitate. Hung. He transformed into light and speedily gave chase after Blood Cloud Palace Master. Lo Feng and Sinking Fire Master were not that far apart, probably only a few dozen million miles away, as Lo Feng sped through space. Blood Cloud Palace Master, hold it. A booming voice resonated in his ears. Humph. Lo Feng sneered and continued moving forward. The booming voice spoke again. Blood Cloud Palace Master, I, Sinking Fire Master, would like to speak with you. It was obvious that Sinking Fire Master did not really want to fight Lo Feng, after all, the top powers were the ones who bore deep hatred for him. Personally, he did not bear such great enmity toward him, but so long as he could pin him down, he could claim credit for his work done. Even better, if Blood Cloud Palace Master was killed, henceforth, when the time came for treasures to be split and distributed, Sinking Fire Master would naturally be able to claim his share. Sinking Fire Master. You think I am as foolish as you are? Lo Feng brushed him off lightly. You. Sinking Fire Master was so mad that he momentarily went speechless. He could not help letting out a sigh. No wonder Blood Cloud Palace Master had enemies all over the universe. He was truly a mean-spirited character. There was no bad blood between the two of them, but in this short exchange of words, Blood Cloud Palace Master had already crudely called him foolish. Wasn't this an insult to a Universe Master like himself? If it were some other great being saying the same words, Sinking Fire Master would have roared in rage and prepared for battle, but as it had come from the notorious Blood Cloud Palace Master, his rage dissipated fast. After all, Blood Cloud Palace Master was naturally cruel-natured. If not, how would he have offended the various top powers of the universe? One flew ahead while the other gave chase behind. 
sinking Firemaster was lagging far behind in his pursuit. At the same time, he was constantly reporting to Dream Demon Ancestor and Shock Demon Monster to update them about the latest situation. Blood Cloud Palace Master is escaping as fast as he can move said sinking Firemaster. I am unable to keep up, so keeping him in view may only be temporary. After a short moment, Lo Feng flew right into a whirlpool tunnel. He has entered a whirlpool tunnel that leads to original star number 06231 sinking Firemaster reported immediately. This news from the Demon Alliance was immediately disseminated out among the super beings, and it took only a short moment for various parties to know that Blood Cloud Palace Master had entered original star number 06231. Star River Master, we are about to arrive at original star number 03129, the coordinates of Blood Cloud Palace Master's whereabouts. Hmm. Six Universe Masters of the Northern Territory Alliance were flying together in the original stars. The leader of them was Star River Master, who had the highest status in the Northern Territory Alliance. Although there was a total of 12 Universe Masters from the Alliance involved in this operation, the other six were originally in the original star and were thus making their way from the various original stars they were on to join the group. Stop! Star River Master ordered. The other five towering figures halted in mid-air at the same time and looked toward Star River Master, a looming black space. Blood Cloud Palace Master has already left original star number 03129 and has gone through a whirlpool tunnel to arrive at original star number 06231 Star River Master announced. What should be we do? This spells trouble. The other five Universe Masters all felt that things were looking extremely bleak. Get the coordinates of the whirlpool tunnel leading to original star number 06231 Star River Master barked out his orders. What is the fastest route to take? If we take a turn after passing by eight original stars, the time we spend on traveling would be the shortest a Universe Master spoke up to answer at once. Then let's take off Star River Master ordered. Hung. All six Universe Masters changed their course of flight right away. The news spread, which indeed caused much dissatisfaction among various powers who were after Blood Cloud Palace Master's life, but they were all at their wit's end, too. Every original star had a total of 10,081 Whirlpool Tunnels. This was the greatest problem when it came to hunting him down for the kill. Maybe this was what Blood Cloud Palace Master had counted on when he showed up on the original stars. Sinking Fire Master's towering figure also went through the Whirlpool Tunnel and entered another original star. He had just stepped in and had yet to control time and space to conduct his search. Huh. Sinking Fire Master looked around in surprise. He could see that, at a distance of approximately 60 million miles away, an endless dark mist pervaded the air. Amidst a dark mist, an ancient palace loomed indistinctly, and in front of that palace, a lone figure stood upright. Shrouded by the dark mist, the figure seemed vague and only faintly discernible. Blood Cloud Palace. Sinking Fire Master recognized the famous treasure right away. Blood Cloud Palace was a top-tier flying palace-type true treasure. It was an entire level higher than Sky Wolf Palace. Its sturdiness was unmatched. Even Universe Supreme Beings would find it hard to cause damage to Blood Cloud Palace. It could release a dark mist over an area as far as hundreds of billions of miles away. The combination of lingering dark mist and towering palaces. That had to be Blood Cloud Palace. By making use of Blood Cloud Palace, one could continuously avert death. Blood Cloud Palace Master did not escape? Sinking Fire Master was secretly taken aback. Ha ha ha. Sinking Fire Master. Why, are you scared? The dark mist suddenly spread out to envelop Sinking Fire Master as a voice resounded, saying, aren't you after me? It's been a long, long time since I fought a battle. Now, I am giving you the chance to fight me. HMPH. Sinking Fire Master roared in rage. This Blood Cloud Master disregarded him without a trace of respect. Blood Cloud Palace Master's voice was transmitted over to him. Ha ha. As expected. You have no guts at all. I will leave you here, then. Sinking Fire Master saw how Blood Cloud Palace Master continued flying away and let out an angry roar at once. Blood Cloud, don't make haste in escaping if you truly have the guts. Transforming into light, he gave chase right away. Ha ha ha. Hong. Blood Cloud Master waved his hand and stowed Blood Cloud Palace in a long shuttle he held onto. Then he charged over with a flash. I shall let you taste my might, said Sinking Fire Master. Sinking Fire Master held onto two large hammers. The nine tentacles on his head blazed with more flames as he roared. Lo Feng charged over at high speed with his long shuttle in hands. 
At the same time, he sighed inwardly over the fact that out of the 100 million of races in the universe, an extremely large number of great beings, especially those of super beings, wielded hammers as their weapons. A distance up to 60 million miles apart, yet the two dashed in each other's direction and were face to face in a split moment. Blood cloud, time to die. Sinking Firemaster roared. The wave of his hammer was, naturally, followed by a ferocious roar, a roar that seemed to have come from the primordial age of the universe. Sinking Firemaster had come to exist upon the completion of Beast God path between fire and space. One strike with his hammer, and the stability of the space and the surroundings, would be shattered like glass being cracked, shattered, and crushed beneath a tank. Just you alone? Lo Feng was as tall as 600 miles at that moment, but it was likewise for Sinking Firemaster. Lo Feng was holding on to Star Tower, which, after being disguised by the Blood Cloud Pearl, took the form of a shuttle more than 1,800 miles long. Meet your doom, said Lo Feng. Lo Feng stared at his opponent from afar. The godly power of his entire body was already burning up and gushing in a continuous stream into the long shuttle he held. Until that very day, Lo Feng could only fully comprehend the first level of the sculpture of complicated secret engravings on the Star Tower. He might have been close to full comprehension of the second level, but he was still a little shy of completion, so he could not fully activate the power on the second level. This, in turn, would require him to consume more godly power, as the power on the first level was simply not as strong as that of the second level. He activated the Star Tower Long Shuttle. With the Long Shuttle, Lo Feng used his ultimate technique of a universe master, Blood Light. It was newly created. Thus, this was the first time it was being used in battle. Shatter. Sinking Firemaster roared. The might of his godly hammer was immeasurable. At that moment, it was as though the skies were falling apart as the earth shattered. But suddenly, a dazzling, blood-red light shuttle flashed by. The speed was frighteningly fast. There was no way the two godly hammers of Sinking Firemaster could block the blows. Pooh. The blood-red light shuttle pierced right through Sinking Firemaster's chest. Peng. Sinking Firemaster gritted his teeth and rammed his godly hammer onto Blood Cloud Palace Master's body. Hong. Hong. The two rebounded in opposite directions. How could he be so fast? Thought Sinking Firemaster in amazement. So fast that I didn't have time to block his attacks. Sinking Firemaster had expected that there would be some changes in Blood Cloud Palace Master, since he had not been seen for more than three million eras. However, he had never expected that the use of a new true treasure, Long Shuttle, would bring about such a fast speed. He may not have been adequately prepared, this was simply too fast. Sinking Firemaster was shocked. Well deserving of his title, this Blood Cloud Master. Given the size of my godly body, he could still cause me to lose 1% of it. His capability certainly falls within the pinnacle list of Universe Masters. Luckily, it's only this one time. I will not allow him to attack my godly body directly again. The two continued to exchange blows, purely using their weapons to fight. The remaining power after blocking off the attacks of the weapons was certainly much weaker, but at least the injuries were purely physical injuries. There were no other weapons to help them dodge blows from one another. It was Lo Feng's long shuttle piercing into Sinking Firemaster's body, and Sinking Firemaster's heavy hammer crashing down on Lo Feng's body. Force armor is simply incredible, thought Lo Feng. It can reduce the impact of attacks to one ten thousand, so that one blow of the hammer would practically seem harmless to my godly body. I can recover in no time. Lo Feng looked at the long shuttle he held. This is undoubtedly a supreme true treasure. I only activated the first level to drive the supreme true treasure, so the supreme true treasure was only unleashing part of its might. Nonetheless, it was already more powerful than the greatest blow I dealt during my battle with Master of Banff earlier on. Lo Feng had prepared well for this fight. Force armor was, after all, stronger in defense compared to Beast God armor, so Lo Feng temporarily swapped his original Earthling body with Blood Cloud Palace Master, so the latter would be able to wear Force armor. And in his hand, he wielded Star Tower Long Shuttle. Blood Cloud Palace Master, you have my respect Sinking Fire Master bellowed. But you are simply out of changes. Ha ha ha. Laughed Lo Feng. Anyone can blow his own trumpet. Lo Feng and Sinking Fire Master continued to exchange blows. Hong. Sinking Fire Master put in his utmost effort to ward off the blows from Lo Feng. The first godly hammer failed to do so, but the second one did, albeit to a most insignificant degree. Sinking Fire Master was completely thrown off by the force of Lo Feng's attacks. 
Star Tower is simply too powerful, thought Lo Feng. To think I have merely used part of its might. Previously, when I was fighting Master of Banff, I had the additional support that my miniature universe rendered, but all I could do was suppress. Now, I'm practically trampling on sinking Fire Master. Lo Feng could feel the enormity of the power of Star Tower. Every pierce was so fearfully fast, and every impact was able to send sinking Fire Master flying off into the distance. This was complete suppression and belittlement of his opponent. It gave Lo Feng a sense of unprecedented pleasure and satisfaction. In the form of Blood Cloud Palace Master, Lo Feng was greatly at ease. As he held on to Star Tower and trampled on a Universe Master, Lo Feng was gleeful. Regarding the second level of secret engravings, Lo Feng was only a finger's breadth away from full comprehension, besides, he had already comprehended the fifth form of Beast God Path earlier when he was on the original star. So he was quite accomplished in his studies of the pictures of secret engravings. Now, in his current state of mind, at the 35th exchange of blows between him and Sinking Fire Master, he had unknowingly activated the second level of the sculpture of secret engravings to its entirety in a split second. Chapter 1125. Kill. Lo Feng was completely devoted to killing, and he was extremely stimulated. He made his breakthrough and completely understood the second level of law engravings on Star Tower. After getting Star Tower, Lo Feng had been following the engraving picture path to understanding the mysteries behind Star Tower. He knew clearly that Star Tower was his trump card. Lo Feng had created techniques like Level Mountain Golden Mountain and Blood Light because of temporary inspirations, and Lo Feng didn't even study into the second level of Shi Wu Wings, even though it was easier than the second level of Star Tower. Lo Feng kept studying the mysteries of Star Tower. It was even more difficult than creating ultimate techniques of Universe Masters. Until today. He roamed the universe disguising himself as Blood Cloud Palace Leader, and he was able to crush Universe Masters. Hong. Long. Boundless burning godly power flooded Star Tower, and the heaven pillars and seal stars started to shine. Its power surged. The godly power required was much more than when he had only cracked the first level of engravings, but the power was gushing. It was the 35th time Lo Feng and Sinking Fire Master clashed. It's little wonder he's completely suppressing me, thought Sinking Fire Master. It's Blood Cloud Palace Leader. However, I can withstand him. I can resist every attack from him, and the attacks have only consumed a little of my godly body. I can stall him until the other Universe Masters arrive. Sinking Fire Master didn't feel ashamed even though he was being crushed. It was, after all, Blood Cloud Palace Leader. The same Blood Cloud Palace Leader who killed two Universe Masters and became an enemy to almost all the powers in the universe. It was not surprising for him to be crushed by Blood Cloud Palace Leader. On the contrary, he would have felt weird if he were Blood Cloud Palace Leader's equal. Hong. Long. They hit each other again like traces of light. Lo Feng triggered the second level of Star Tower. Following a deafening noise, the long shuttle of Star Tower immediately became much larger. The shuttle, which had only been thousands of miles long, immediately became tens of thousands of miles long, and Lo Feng had to become larger as well to feel comfortable holding such a gigantic shuttle. Peng. The long shuttle caused terrific whirlpools that dismantled the space around it, together with the lands, and grasped on the original star. Sinking Fire Master opened his eyes wide, and the antennae on his head started to burst aflame. Impossible. He roared and put his godly hammer ups in front of him, as if to form a wall. The shuttle stabbed the center of the hammers, and the power hit the chest of Sinking Fire Master. Peng. Sinking Fire Master shot back like a beam of light. How? Although Lo Feng was thrilled by the power of the second level of Star Tower, he knew now was not the time to be thrilled. It's time to kill him. Su. Lo Feng quickly followed him. Sinking Fire Master was completely stupefied. The power from that attack terrified him. The hammers hit his chest, and the power immediately ravaged his top-tier true treasure armor, hitting the armor's limit. His godly body trembled. Hong. 32% of my godly body is gone? Sinking Fire Master was shocked. He was a universe master and had been one for an eternity. He had a life gene level of more than 1,000 times. Besides, he was also wearing top-tier true treasure armor and had a godly body more than 600 miles tall. Yet 32% of his godly body had been consumed with one attack. Blood Cloud Palace Leader was indeed powerful, but the Blood Cloud Palace Leader known to history wasn't this powerful. Take another one. 
the bloody being arrived again, and the shuttle slashed the sky, forming whirlpools that crushed the space on the original star. Peng. It was irresistible. Sinking Firemaster bounced away, and Lo Feng followed him like a bolt of lightning. How can he be so powerful? Wondered Sinking Firemaster, realizing his godly body was down to 29% already. He transmitted his voice, looking at the bloody being racing toward him, and said, I didn't expect Blood Cloud Palace leader to have gotten stronger. It's not shameful for this body of mine to die at the hands of Blood Cloud Palace leader. Hung. After an explosion, the body of Sinking Fire Master was annihilated. Ha ha. True treasures of a universe master. Lo Feng reached out his hands and took the world ring, the giant hammers, the top tier true treasure armor, and a green bean into his world ring. Then he flew away like a trace of light. A sense of refreshment wafted with a breeze in the sky as Lo Feng flew toward a space whirlpool in the distance. I, I killed a universe master, Lo Feng said. He was still excited. Although he realized that Sinking Fire Master had multiple bodies the moment he killed him, as there were still life imprints on the true treasures, Sinking Fire Master wasn't able to retrieve those true treasures. He was too far away. Lo Feng would certainly be able to break those imprints. He isn't dead yet. After all, he's a universe master. Lo Feng was thrilled, and he looked at the shuttle in his hand. Supreme True Treasure Star Tower. No wonder it's a supreme true treasure. My human race doesn't even have a supreme true treasure, and one supreme true treasure can be a guarding treasure. No wonder. It was too powerful. When Lo Feng was only able to drive the first level of Star Tower, Sinking Fire Master's godly power surpassed Lo Feng. And they had techniques at the same level. However, Lo Feng was at a great advantage with his true treasure. Sinking Fire Master was also using a pair of top-tier true treasure hammers, but the power of them was nothing compared to that of a supreme true treasure. The supreme true treasure at the first level not only completely made up for the disadvantage Lo Feng had in terms of godly power, but also gave him a great edge. And after he cracked the second level. Lo Feng, whose godly body was only at 100 times, was able to rival the most powerful universe masters with Star Tower. The difference in godly bodies was made up for by Star Tower. Even Primal Chaos City Leader, Star River Master, and Nine Remoteness Master didn't have supreme true treasures. Even Huge Axe Creator didn't have one, yet Lo Feng had one. Supreme true treasure! Lo Feng exclaimed. The second level of engravings were much more complicated than those of the ultimate techniques of Universe Masters, and they can rival those of I Am the Universe. Fortunately, there are engravings already, and I only need to learn how to utilize them. I can't even imagine how terrific the third level of Star Tower will be. The second level of engravings could rival I Am the Universe, and after the engravings were combined with Star Tower, the power was much stronger than I Am the Universe. What about the third level? Ha <laughs> ha. With Star Tower, I can go everywhere in the universe. Lo Feng was amazed. Suddenly. Hong. Long. A powerful force arrived, and the original star was controlled. The ruins were completely recovered. Control over space and time? Universe masters are here. Lo Feng immediately realized that they were only the first group of universe masters. They would be followed by numerous others. Blood Cloud Palace Leader. Blood Cloud Palace Leader, don't you dare run. Who are you to yell at me? Lo Feng guffawed, and the whirlpool portal appeared. He flew toward it and went into it, leaving the original star and arriving at another. Two universe masters tens of billions of miles away from Lo Feng were furious, but they could do nothing about it. They had to report it. Blood Cloud Palace leader entered original star number 08625. Sinking Fire Secret Region had a diameter of 800,000 light years. It was the center of the Nine Huo race, and their leader, Sinking Fire Master, also lived there. Every 10,000 years, a group of peerless talents would be led to the Sinking Fire Secret Region to receive the best training. Inside Sinking Fire Secret Region, a giant mountain range hundreds of millions of miles long floated in space, and suddenly, an eye on the mountain opened. What a pity! Sinking Fire Master exclaimed. I chose Lee Volcano as my body, and it was destined to move with difficulty. Otherwise, my Nine Huo original body wouldn't have been killed so easily. He had gotten lucky while adventuring through the universe as a sector lord, and had been bestowed with a second body by the universe. He had bred another body, ultimately choosing the gigantic Lee Volcano. However, the larger a godly body was, the less flexibility it had. This one was so inflexible that it was too difficult to fly. It couldn't even move at its own discretion. 
Like World Tree, although it could move, it remained on that island. The Lee Volcano body of Sinking Firemaster was a 60 million miles long, and it was difficult to even move it, not to mention going to that original star. Regardless, that Blood Cloud Palace leader is indeed powerful, he said. Impressive. He suppressed me the whole time, and his shuttle dismantled the surrounding space and turned it into whirlpools. Is that a more powerful technique? Sinking Firemaster felt that that attack was different the ones he had encountered in the past. Perhaps a Universe Master will die this time. He killed two Universe Masters before. Will he kill a third this time? Chapter 1126. Zhen Chang Valley. On original star number 08625, in the vast sky above the ocean, Blood Cloud Palace Master flew through the air at high speed. He wore his blood red battle robe, blood red mask, and his curved golden horn. Meanwhile, in his world ring, his original earthling body was dealing with the loots of his victory. Within his world ring, clad in black armor with a lone horn on his forehead, Lo Feng stood on the vast ground and looked at the loot before him, a true treasure which was pair of gigantic godly hammers, a top-tier true treasure which was a piece of simple unsophisticated armor. A true treasure which took the form of a green seed and a world ring. Crack them. Lo Feng looked at the true treasures and world ring before him and divided out five streams of godly power at once, of which two went directly into the true treasure godly hammers and two went into the true treasure armor and green seed respectively. The last one went right through the world ring. Peng. Lo Feng was not about to waste any effort on the world ring. He forcibly destroyed it right away. A loud bang sounded, followed by a large quantity of materials, valuables, and several true treasures falling from the world ring that broke apart. The scene was like a cluster of fireworks exploding in the sky, raining down on the land. In a split second, his surroundings were completely piled with mountains. This sinking firemaster was really one unique character, collecting these few true treasures and branding each and every one with a life imprint. Even those valuables, more than half of them were branded with life imprints. Lo Feng shook his head. Hua. 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 His godly power was further divided into more streams, which dashed for those true treasures and valuables to penetrate them. The impact of his godly power was continuously felt. It had been said that with true skills, one could mold a thick metal rod into a fine sewing needle. With brute force, he cracked open the imprints. One after another, he continued, until finally, with his godly power, he completed the cracking of all the imprints. One of his bodies took the identity of Blood Cloud Palace Master, an ancient existence known to the vast universe, and roamed the original star-seeking adventures. The other body was working hard at cracking all those life imprints of the true treasures and valuables that were Lo Feng's winnings. What great satisfaction, he murmured. Cool. Lo Feng felt a deep satisfaction that came from the bottom of his heart. When he first set foot off Earth and entered the universe, feeling jittery and frightened, he had spent his efforts striving and fighting. Every moment had been filled with pressure, and he always felt as though he could never gain control of his own destiny, much less control or guard the fate of his fellow earthlings. Until now, when Lo Feng had finally gained a foothold for himself. Throughout the universe, I may not be the strongest. He said. Universe supreme beings are all much stronger than I am. Those who were comparable to me were aplenty. They were all universe masters at the pinnacle level. Even though, with Star Tower, I may at most be comparable to them. But at least. I am ranked within the pinnacle list of this vast universe. Joy abounded deep in his heart. Setting foot on this path of a great being. Was it not all for the sake of seeking greater freedom? For the foothold he had now? My battle records this time round indicate the truth of what Primal Chaos City teacher has said, that I have become a universe master. Lo Feng continued to forcibly crack those life imprints as he waited expectantly. I believe, thought Lo Feng, after Hong Alliance's internal discussion, very soon, I will be qualified to become a palace master of the Hong Alliance Palace. By then, just as Hugh Jack's creator promised earlier, the day will come when I can sit alongside them. That will be the day I can claim back planet Earth. After an endless fight. 180 million years. Soon. The other great beings all felt that Lo Feng had only undergone around 100,000 years of cultivation, yet, the amount of time that Lo Feng had personally experienced was, in fact, 180 million years. If one's willpower was not strong enough, such long years would only bring one to a mental breakdown and ruination. Poo. 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 The life imprints of the treasures were continuously cracked and cleared, one after the other. 
After a short moment, the life imprints of the ordinary true treasures were also continuously cracked and cleared, one after the other. Soon, even the life imprint of the one and only senior true treasure found in the lot was cleared. After a good half an hour or so, upon consuming a tremendous amount of godly power, the pair of gigantic godly hammers and the top-tier armor were completely cracked. Not a single item here belongs to Sinking Firemaster anymore. Lo Feng carefully looked through the loot and concluded that all that was obtained from Sinking Firemaster had been completely laundered. Huh? Lo Feng's gaze came to rest on a mountain where a tremendous amount of materials were piled up. His godly power immediately locked down on one of the objects among the lot. A piece of a purple crystal pillar that was slowly floating upward. The entire crystal pillar was filled with diagrams of secret engravings. It was faintly different from the rest, and the diagrams confirmed Lo Feng's doubts. Zhen Chang Valley? Lo Feng frowned, then laughed. My luck is not that bad after all. During the opening of the original stars, the Disambiguation Temple was one of the greatest treasures that had appeared. However, there was quite a handful of treasures that were one notch lower than the Disambiguation Temple, one of which was Blade River Low, whose birth was already completed. There were also some treasure temples that might have shown up, but had yet to open up. The Disambiguation Temple was one that had yet to open its doors. And Zhen Chang Valley was also a place with hidden treasures. Although it had appeared, it had not opened. Lo Feng also knew of such information, so he recognized the crystal pillar as a token of Zhen Chang Valley with one look. It was said that there was a total of nine tokens, and when the births of all nine tokens were completed, Zhen Chang Valley would officially open. Only those with the tokens were allowed to enter Zhen Chang Valley. Otherwise, no entry was allowed. While the original Earthling body in the World Ring was cracking life imprints and found the token of Zhen Chang Valley, Blood Cloud Palace Master was flying about in a disorderly manner, fleeing to another original star as he was being pursued in a frenzy. At this point, news of Sinking Fire Master's body being killed was fast spreading out to the higher ups of various top powers of the universe. Sinking Fire Master's 9 Huo body has been killed, and his true treasure was taken away. Sinking Fire Master has already released the news, saying that Blood Cloud Palace Master's power is now much stronger than it was 3 million years ago, and he has changed his true treasure weapon to a true treasure long shuttle. Even Sinking Fire Master cannot fight him off. We must be vigilant, and if we are not confident of surviving, we had better not fight Blood Cloud Master alone. Therefore, Universe Masters decided to move about mostly in twos and threes. Of course, there were still some who went after Blood Cloud Palace Master alone. They either had humongous godly bodies, true treasure armor that was extremely strong, or flying palace type true treasures. Some who were Universe Masters already ranked in the pinnacle list. In short, only those who were extremely confident dared to act as individuals. Going after me? Lo Feng was speeding through the air as he laughed out loud. Every original star has a total of 10,081 space whirlpools that allow me to change my route in any way I like. Even if the universe top powers were to each send out several universe masters, how many could they come up to? Besides, all of them were not strong enough to stop me at all. In the name of his battle to fame plan, Lo Feng allowed Blood Cloud Palace Master to come out of hiding and wander about leisurely. On the one hand, he could test the power of this supreme true treasure. Secondly, Blood Cloud Palace Master's presence served as a good diversion. The three alliances would grow so infuriated that their attention would be diverted away from Lo Feng. After all, compared to Blood Cloud Palace Master, killing Lo Feng was merely an internal fight among the four pinnacle races. Blood Cloud Palace Master was the true cause for the rage felt by the various powers of the universe. Goal achieved Lo Feng mumbled under his breath. Time to return to my god country. How do I make my way back? All this time, Lo Feng had been flying about in a spontaneous manner. There were times when he was near a whirlpool tunnel that led to the outside world, yet he did not go through it, as he understood that such an obvious route would likely lead him straight into the ambush set by a great being just outside the whirlpool tunnel. Just as Lo Feng was thinking about how he should leave the original star to return to his god country, he arrived at a whirlpool tunnel. Lo Feng stepped right through it without a second thought. Blood Cloud Palace Master, don't you dare escape. Blood Cloud Palace Master. Take up my challenge if you have the guts. Three Universe Masters had been hot on his heels, but they were too far behind to stop him. Most unwillingly, they watched Lo Feng make his escape into the next original star, original star number 08605. Original star number 08605.
Lo Feng had just stepped into this vast universe when he caught sight of six faraway figures. They were actually less than 60 million miles away from him. The leader of the group was a distorted, dark void, while the other five towering figures all exuded extraordinary auras. Lo Feng recognized them at first glance. The Northern Territory Alliance. Blood Cloud Palace Master. All six figures all seemed to shout at the same time. Ha ha ha. One of them laughed. Blood Cloud Palace Master, we were just preparing to head over to the other original star to hunt you down. To think you actually came running here on your own. Now we meet. We just got lucky said another. Blood Cloud Palace Master, what a route you have chosen to run into our path so coincidentally. You have been hopping around different original stars and we are also changing routes all the time. Now, we finally run into one another. These six universe masters of the Northern Territory Alliance would not be easy to handle. Along the way, these universe masters had been constantly receiving information stating that Blood Cloud Palace Master had made his way to a certain original star. Or that Blood Cloud Palace Master had just moved on to another original star. The speed of change was extremely fast. Of course, this naturally led to the six universe masters of the Northern Territory Alliance having to constantly change their routes. After all, it would be futile for them to always be chasing him from behind, they would never have been able to catch up. Instead, they had to intercept from the front. But to do so. They need luck. There were simply too many space whirlpools. No one knew which one Lo Feng would go to. Just a slight change in direction would make a great difference in distance. Lo Feng could not be bothered with those voices. The six universe masters before him, five of them might be quite powerful and well-known, but with Star Tower in his hands, they were no threat to him. What truly caught his attention was the leader of the group, the Dark Void life form. Star River Master? Lo Feng spoke up. Blood Cloud Palace Master the Dark Void transmitted a voice in acknowledgement. You and I. For the first time, we meet face to face. Twice previously, I hunted you, but each time I got to you, you escaped. This time, I have had better luck. I actually ran into you. Hua. All at once, endless starlight enshrouded the entire original star, while a powerful force bound all corners together by enveloping the area. This was none other than a top-tier domain-type true treasure. You can forget about escaping the looming, dark void said. I heard from Sinking Firemaster that you are very powerful. I would like to see for myself. If you are able to escape from me alive. My guess is, you should still be able to make your escape from our siege this time. Lo Feng looked on from afar, but maintained his vigilance because, Star River Master's reputation aside, in terms of power, status, and reputation, he was not any inferior to Lo Feng's teacher. Primal Chaos City Leader. This was definitely one of the top-ranking individuals on the list of Universe Masters. Even a Universe Supreme being would have been unable to tackle Star River Master. All these facts were evidence of his astonishing prestige of a top-ranking Universe Master. Chapter 1127 Star River Master. However, this is how I can see the gap between me and the Pinnacle Universe Masters. Aggression was burning in Lo Feng's heart, and he gazed at the leader in the distance. He completely ignored the other five Universe Masters. He only had eyes for Star River Master. You're not running. Came a voice from the dark void. Lo Feng gazed at his opposition. Neither are you. Ha ha ha. A guffer came out of the dark void. Interesting. No wonder almost everyone in the universe wants you dead. You're indeed bold and arrogant. Stop talking. Lo Feng yelled, and his eyes glinted fiercely. If you want to fight, fight me now. Time's precious. He was replacing his teacher sitting mountain guest as Blood Cloud Palace Leader, so he needed to be qualified. Blood Cloud Palace Leader was a wicked and rampant being roaming the universe. Blood Cloud Palace Leader, you live up to your reputation. All of a sudden, an arm-shaped substance extended out of the dark void, and a mace-shaped true treasure weapon appeared in the hand. At the same time, another arm-shaped substance showed up. This hand also held a mace-shaped weapon. Both maces were bronze, and the periphery was gold. This true treasure of mine is named Kunyi, and it's a top-tier pinnacle true treasure said Star River Master. Top-tier pinnacle true treasure? Thought Lo Feng? Lo Feng understood that there were gaps even between valuables at the same level. The true treasure Star River Master was using now was only second to supreme true treasures, and it must have been as powerful as the mace-type weapons that Double Face Ancestral God had been using. His status was self-explanatory based on the true treasure he was using. The other five Universe Masters spread out without meddling. 
They believed in the power of Star River Master. Take three attacks, said Star River Master. If you can, I won't stop you. Here's the first move. Star River Master started to move right after he said. He raced toward Lo Feng like a black phantom. Come on. Lo Feng dashed toward him holding the shuttle and shouted, Blood Light. Lo Feng's godly body surged to 6,000 miles tall, and he performed his most powerful technique. His burning godly power flooded the shuttle. Hua. Hua. The shuttle twisted the space around it and formed whirlpools. The power was so strong that the other five universe masters were intimidated. Star River Master held the maces, which looked like bolts of lightning. Pi. Pa. Two black beams of light gushed forth and hit the shuttle. The black void holding the two godly maces bounced away, and Lo Feng stepped back. This is the first move. Screen. The maces emanated powerful energy. I've looked down upon you. After all, it's only an ultimate technique of universe masters, and it's not enough to suppress you. I can tell that you're a pinnacle universe master. Take my second move. It's a supreme technique of universe masters created by me. As the voice went into Lo Feng's mind, Star River Master started to move again. The black phantom charged at him. Hong. Long. Long. The maces turned a space into darkness. A miniature universe? Lo Feng was shocked. It looked like a miniature universe, but there were some differences. Hong. The maces smashed toward Lo Feng like two worlds. Break. Lo Feng growled. He raced toward the maces, and the shuttle of Star Tower also stabbed toward the maces. Peng. Lo Feng felt his body trembling, and the shock waves hit his force armor. However, the power was neutralized by his force armor. Lo Feng dove away from the shock wave. This is the first ultimate technique of Universe Masters I created, Black Knight, said Star River Master. It seems that the shuttle in your hands is also a pinnacle true treasure. Otherwise, you would only be at a slight disadvantage. Lo Feng looked at the dark void in the distance. A pinnacle true treasure? What a joke. A race could have many ordinary pinnacle true treasures, as for pinnacle domain type true treasures and pinnacle soul type true treasures, a race might have several. However, a supreme true treasure was superior. The disadvantage he had because of his godly body and techniques were almost made up for by the shuttle of Star Tower. His first move is an ultimate technique of Universe Masters, and his second move is a supreme technique of Universe Masters. What about the third move? Lo Feng was confused. Could there be a more powerful one? That didn't sound right. Supreme techniques of Universe Masters should be the best that Star River Master could do. You're qualified to take my third move, said Star River Master. My supreme move. The other five Universe Masters collectively held their breath. They transmitted their voices in private. Look. The supreme move of Star River Master. We get to see it again. Last time Star River Master performed it, he killed a Universe Master in Universe Ocean, and the other two Universe Masters fled. They were all excited, as Star River Master wouldn't perform this move unless it was absolutely necessary. The original star was trapped in darkness again, and a dark power permeated through it. At the same time, a completely different power arose from his maces. The maces started to shine. They were shinier than 10,000 stars combined. One of them was dark, and the other was bright. Hua. Lo Feng felt despaired when he handled it. He tried to banish the negative mood. It was not a soul attack, rather, it was an attack so perfect that it could only be awed and even made its oppositions. Of course, Lo Feng's willpower was strong enough for him to recover from those feelings immediately. He stabbed with his shuttle again. Hong. The space trembled. Hong. 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 The light river hit the shuttle, and the shuttle resisted the river. The shuttle was as stable as a mountain. However, Lo Feng could still feel his godly power trembling even after the power being weakened by his force armor. Lo Feng bounced away beneath that power, and he could barely stop in the distance. Everything dissipated. The original star returned to peace again. One five hundredth of my godly body is gone? Said Lo Feng. He was astonished. He first used the shuttle to resist that move, and he used force armor to withstand it again. However, one five hundredth of his godly body was still gone. If he used Blood Ghost Blade instead of Star Tower, the power would have been two levels more powerful. One attack could destroy 50% of his godly body. He was shocked to his very core, but what he didn't know was that Star River Master was even more shocked. What? Star River Master was terrified. He was already a pinnacle Universe Master, and he had a supreme technique of Universe Masters. 
He had created two supreme techniques of universe masters and had combined the two into one in Universe Ocean. It looked simple, but it took a long while when he combined the two as one. This attack. This was the move that made him awed by the entire universe, and that meant he did not need to be afraid of universe supreme masters. He'd always known that only a few universe masters in the universe could rival him. A great amount of my godly power was consumed because of that move, but his godly power is hardly gone? Star River Master was shocked. He didn't know that Lo Feng had the supreme true treasure, Star Tower, in addition to his pinnacle true treasure force armor. If Star River Master knew that he had failed because of a supreme true treasure, he would have felt relieved. A voice came from Blood Cloud Palace leader in the distance. What is that move? River and Black Knight, said Star River Master. Incredible. Impressive, said Blood Cloud Palace leader. Lo Feng really was impressed. He took three moves, and the second move was Black Knight. Lo Feng could tell that the third move, River and Black Knight, was a combination of Black Knight and River, and their power led to a tremendous attack. The only supreme technique he knew was I am the universe, and it had been bestowed to him by the universe. He couldn't create any. Yet his opposition had created several of them, and he was able to combine them. No wonder. It's Star River Master. Lo Feng exclaimed. Go said Star River Master. You're able to take my supreme technique without being severely injured. At the same time, he took back his Star River and flew away. Star River Master. Star River Master. The other five Universe Masters followed Star River Master reluctantly, after glancing at Lo Feng. They knew they wouldn't be able to injure Blood Cloud Palace Leader, given that he was able to resist the supreme technique of Star River Master, and now that Star River Master had left, they would follow him as well. Star River Master Lo Feng whispered. He had finally witnessed the top-tier Universe Masters. Sue. He disappeared like a streak of light. Chapter 1128. Fence. A piece of news came when the Universe Masters were searching for Blood Cloud Palace Leader on the original stars. Star River Master from the Northern Territory Alliance had fought Blood Cloud Palace Leader, and Blood Cloud Palace Leader had only suffered from a slight injury, even under Star River Master's best moves, and Star River Master had left voluntarily. All the Universe Masters searching the original stars were shocked. Impossible. Star River Master utilized all his power? Though I could survive that, I would be severely injured. That Blood Cloud Palace Leader's power barely changed at all? How can he be that powerful? Did Blood Cloud Palace Leader hide in Blood Cloud Palace? No? He withstood the supreme technique of Star River Master? They couldn't believe what they heard, and the more they learned about that fight, the more hopeless they became. Gosh. Star River Master used his best true treasure to perform his most supreme technique. Blood Cloud Palace Leader was able to withstand that without even being severely hurt. A sense of hopelessness flooded almost every Universe Master's mind, even for beings like Sky Beacon Godly Master, who were confident that they were Star River Master's equals. Let's go. Let's go back. Just go? Just like that? What else can we do? If Star River Master can't deal with Blood Cloud Palace Leader, then no one else can. Even Universe Supreme Masters are only slightly stronger than Star River Master. In the original universe, the power of Universe Supreme Masters was heavily constrained. What could Universe Supreme Masters do? Heavily injure Blood Cloud Palace Leader? Let's go. The Universe Masters gave up one after another. They all felt helpless. I can't believe Blood Cloud Palace Leader is this powerful. Although Blood Cloud Palace Leader was always powerful, he wasn't as insanely powerful as this. When hunted by beings like Star River Master in the past, he would have definitely run away without putting up a fight. It's much more difficult to kill him now. Some Universe Masters chose to leave. This was how the universe worked. Power determines someone's destiny. No matter how crazy, evil, and reckless someone was, if he could become a Universe Supreme Master, no powers would dare to mess with him, and instead, they would try to butter him up. Like Lone Universe Supreme Masters such as Sitting Mountain Guest and Virtual Real Devil Master, they all had weird tempers and might kill anyone at any time. No powers dared to go after them. Why? One didn't even need to be a Universe Supreme Master. Someone at Star River Master was already attractive enough for all the powers in the universe. Obviously, Blood Cloud Palace Leader was hardly injured by the supreme technique of Star River Master. Apparently, he was almost at that level. Don't mess with that maniac. Don't mess with him. We can't kill him, he's great at fleeing, and he doesn't have any inhibitions. Unless we try to seal him, 
no powers will be willing to make such sacrifices to do that. After all, Blood Cloud Palace leader is only an individual. He's not related to any powers. One fight determined his status. Blood Cloud Palace leader had gone from a common enemy among the powers in the universe to someone no one was willing to mess with. Actually, there were powers who wanted to admit him, but based on their experience, Blood Cloud Palace leader might kill those who approached him. He was a maniac. Inside Lo Feng's God Country. Lo Feng's original plan was to take a tour on the original stars for a longer time, but he didn't expect all those universe masters to leave. And Lo Feng went out without being noticed. Hung. Long. Long. The waves were churning like thunder, tumbling through the boundless remote ocean. Above the remote ocean, at the center of his god country and inside the godly palace, Lo Feng looked down at the god country. I came back. It's done. Lo Feng smiled. He felt relieved as never before. He recalled the series of incidents starting from virtual real devil master coming after him, which triggered him to kill Heavenly Flower Knight, but he didn't expect him to hide in a flying palace type true treasure. That had led to a bigger incident in which he had killed 8,000 Universe Knights, fought a Universe Master, and killed more than 6,000 Universe Knights with his miniature universe. After Blood Cloud Palace leader showed himself, it had led to a larger disturbance, distracting everyone. I've achieved my goal. I'm at the same level of Master of Banff, Lo Feng thought, and I performed a supreme technique. I am a Universe Master. And I am a Universe Master who's a handful. His only weakness was his inability to control space and time, which might lead to some suspicions. However, it didn't matter. He was able to perform Golden Light and Miniature Universe, which showed Lo Feng had the power of a Universe Master, at least according to the powers in the universe. Besides, Lo Feng had several bodies, which meant he was extremely difficult to kill. Regardless, that Star River Master is indeed strong. Lo Feng exclaimed. If I didn't have the shuttle of Star Tower, that attack would have destroyed half of my godly body. He used the long shuttle to resist it. And then, the power was weakened by force armor, yet he had still lost one five hundredth of his godly body. Two moves could kill him. I have a weaker godly body compared to the Pinnacle Universe Masters, and I don't have a stronger enough weapon. Lo Feng frowned. Blood Ghost Blade is not enough to fight Universe Masters. A body of sinking fire master had a pair of hammers which was a top-tier true treasure. And he wasn't even a top-tier universe master. The flame god halberd that flame emperor used was a top-tier pinnacle true treasure, which was at the same level of force armor. Primal Chaos City leader had three bodies, and the most powerful one was the one fighting in Universe Ocean, and even the one in the original star was the one wearing Thousand Treasures coat and holding a true treasure stone staff. Thousand Treasures Coat was only a domain-type True Treasure at the same level as the True Treasure of Star River Master. As for attacking True Treasures, they should be similar. My weapon isn't good enough, thought Lo Feng. Okay. Teacher said if I killed 10 top-tier Universe Overlords or one Universe Master, he would make a Pinnacle True Treasure for me. I need a top-tier Pinnacle True Treasure like Flame God Halberd. He didn't need a domain-type Pinnacle True Treasure. After all, a top-tier pinnacle true treasure weapon was also highly valuable. Lo Feng took out a stone token. Teacher. Lo Feng's consciousness entered the token and started to pass the message. The token was an ordinary true treasure made by Sitting Mountain Guest for communications, which made Lo Feng admire Sitting Mountain Guest even more. Blood Cloud Pearl was used for disguise, while tokens were used for communications. Those, plus Force Armor and Star Tower, all had strict requirements for those who used them. The true treasures made by Sitting Mountain Guest were largely different from those born in the universe. A message was conveyed immediately. Ha ha. Disciple. I've already heard what you did on the original star. But my question is, why did you fight that Star River Master? You've intimidated all the powers by doing that, and they won't want to encircle you anymore. Lo Feng was rendered speechless. If this was the case. No wonder teacher ran when he came across beings stronger like Star River Master. His teacher was certainly able to create a body to resist Star River Master. I didn't think of that said Lo Feng. Besides, I wouldn't have been able to run away. That's right. You're not good enough for that. Sitting Mountain Guest, while in disguise, was extremely proficient in escaping. Were you contacting me? He asked. Teacher, I killed a body of Sinking Fire Master, said Lo Feng. It should be counted as killing a universe master. You're oversimplifying things, my disciple said sitting mountain guest. Lo Feng was speechless. Things were not going as he'd expected. 
Of course it doesn't count said sitting mountain guest. Killing a body should be as difficult as killing a real universe, Master Lo Feng tried to argue. Of course it's not said sitting mountain guest. Blood Cloud Palace leader is known for his fierceness. If it weren't for having another body, ordinary universe masters wouldn't even dare to fight you in the first place. As for those who have multiple bodies, they have the guts to take risks even if they're not strong enough. Do you really think Sinking Fire Master would fight you if he didn't have another body? Lo Feng said nothing. He knew he was right. Most of the universe masters chasing him were in groups, and those who acted alone had security. No one is such a fool said sitting mountain guest. It's not as easy as you think to kill a universe master. He only risked it because he had multiple bodies. Sitting mountain guest laughed. It won't be so easy to get your teacher to make a pinnacle true treasure for you. Lo Feng pouted, but it seemed there was nothing he could do. Teacher, I killed the body of that sinking fire master and got some true treasures, but I can't exchange them. If I give them to my race, my identity will be exposed. Lo Feng was concerned about this. The valuables obtained by Blood Cloud Palace Leader were stolen goods, and true treasures with great fame could be identified easily. It would be difficult to exchange them. That's right, said Sitting Mountain Guest. I'll handle it. Come here to exchange for a true treasure. Here are the coordinates of my place. Just come here. The coordinates were sent. Lo Feng looked forward to it. It had been a long time since Sitting Mountain Guest first became his teacher, but he had never been to his home yet. Sure, said Lo Feng. I'll be there as soon as possible. Lo Feng organized his true treasures, left his god country, and took off for the home of Sitting Mountain Guest. Chapter 1129. The True Treasure Vault. At an extreme end of the universe, in a deserted domain that was more than 9 billion light years away from humanity, Lo Feng first used God Country Transportation to reach a place nearest to the coordinates he was given. Thereafter, he relied on teleportation. It took him two days, and finally, he arrived at his destination. Teacher, you have been staying here? In his silver armor and silver wings, with his ghost blade slung behind him, Lo Feng stood amid the dark of space. At one glance, it was pitch black everywhere, without a trace of light, without a single star. There was absolute silence and cold. Void land of the universe? Lo Feng said to himself. When the universe evolved, galaxies started popping up, positioned slightly apart from one another. A great quantity of galaxies would form a star field. The distance between star fields was expansive, and the distance between star sectors was much greater. As for the human domain and other domains, there would be an immeasurable, vast void, a pitch black space that existed between them. Within the universe, these void spaces had diameters ranging from a few hundred million light years to a few billion light years, all of which were in complete silence and darkness. With Lo Feng's powers, his eyesight could not see even the slightest trace of light. One could never imagine how frighteningly immense this void space was. My dear disciple, do come in already, a voice sounded near Lo Feng's ears. Lo Feng turned right away. Hua. A dazzling, elegant, exquisite bridge appeared. The entire bridge seemed to be made of transparent crystal stones and bathed in gold. Lo Feng flew over immediately and landed on the bridge and made his way to the other end. The walk along the bridge enabled him to feel the intense change of space at once. Huh. Lo Feng immediately checked the universe coordinates and was shocked to discover that with every step he took on the bridge, he moved 10 million light years. From this end of the bridge to the other, the universe coordinates had shifted 1.2 billion light years. At the other end of the bridge was an exquisite looking lake where all kinds of fish frolicked in the water. This isn't right, said Lo Feng. He turned to take a look behind him. Previously, the bridge had only seemed to be around 300 feet long, but he had traveled 1.2 billion light years. The lake before him was also of a diameter. A few hundred feet. But according to what his godly power sensed, this was neither a lake nor were those fish in it. It was a domain-type true treasure that wields extremely strong power. Walking along the lake, he saw flower beds and grassy patches. This isn't right, Lo Feng repeated, taking a closer look. Those stalks of grass were actually huge, ancient trees with little stones adorned around them. They were actually metallic materials that were as big as a star level. Amazing. The control of universe space is unbelievably incredible Lo Feng mused to himself as he walked. His teacher's residence was very quiet. As for that exquisite palace and lake, they were actually a flying palace type true treasure and a domain type true treasure, respectively. As for the other items, they were various sorts of precious materials. 
Entering the palace, Lo Feng came to a garden where he saw a sitting mountain guest holding a stone and caressing it with his eyes closed. Teacher. Lo Feng went to him and bowed deferentially. Sitting mountain guest opened his eyes and put the stone aside. Smiling at Lo Feng, he commented, you made it here quite fast. Teacher, this place is too deserted. Otherwise, I would have arrived much earlier. Lo Feng also smiled. Teacher, why have you chosen such a place as your residence? The quiet. Sitting mountain guest said. And this void space is of a diameter that is more than 100 million light years. Although it is devoid of anything and incomparably deserted, it is unfit for humans to live and multiply their numbers, but I am a lone wanderer, so this place, on the contrary, is good for me. Besides, this is only one of the many places where I live when I am in the primal universe. Oh yes, where are those stolen goods you took? What do you mean by stolen goods? Said Lo Feng. Lo Feng had no other alternative but to take everything sinking Firemaster owned, the pair of godly hammers, his armor, and the green seed. Sitting mountain guest looked. What are you after? A pinnacle true treasure blade Lo Feng replied. He took out a pair of godly hammers that were top tier true treasures. Their powers could be combined when required. There was also the armor, which was also a top tier true treasure, and the green seed, which was merely an ordinary soul type true treasure, to the humans, it was worth 60 true treasure points, which was close to the value of a top tier true treasure weapon. Not enough. Sitting mountain guest looked at Lo Feng. I will not take advantage of you. I will definitely offer you a price that is 30% less than what you would need to pay to exchange for a true treasure within the race. But this, this is obviously not enough. Add in this ghost blade. Lo Feng took out ghost blade that was slung across his back. Since he was going to trade for a blade, this ghost blade would no longer be required. Sitting mountain guest still shook his head. Teacher. Lo Feng said, glaring. I only have this one pinnacle true treasure blade sitting mountain guest said. Although it may not be a pinnacle true treasure of the highest grade, these few true treasures you have here are really still not enough. Lo Feng frowned. The true treasures he had with him were all in use, and those that were being used were stored in the treasure room at Blood Cloud Palace. Sinking Firemaster might have owned several ordinary true treasures, but Lo Feng had categorized those and returned them to Blood Cloud Palace. After all, he did owe the treasure room in Blood Cloud Palace quite a few pieces of treasures. Oh. Right. Within Sinking Firemaster's world ring, there is one senior true treasure and a token of Zhenchang Valley. Add these two. Lo Feng took out a green and gold medallion and the crystal token of Zhenchang Valley. A token of Zhenchang Valley? Sitting mountain guest looked and laughed. Well, I have been quite bored recently. Heading to Zhenchang Valley for an adventure sounds good. All right, add on these two. We can barely make it now. Teacher, you are really going to Zhenchang Valley? Lo Feng eyes widened. The birth of Zhenchang Valley was a treasure the level of Blade River Low, and it was yet to be completed. Lo Feng had a disambiguation mirror stone, so he was looking forward to the disambiguation temple more. He was not as eager to get into Zhenchang Valley. Just to get a pinnacle true treasure weapon. Going to Zhenchang Valley was not a great deal. But this was a pinnacle true treasure weapon. And it was comparable to Blade River Low. Why? Am I not allowed to? Sitting mountain guest stood up. Life is long. We have to find some pleasures to get us by. Sitting mountain guest walked afar far as he shouted, still not coming? Don't you want you true treasure blade? Lo Feng hurriedly followed behind. They came to a palace hall that was decorated in a unique manner. All the walls within the hall were filled with a large quantity of sculptures, and every sculpture was engraved with many different patterns. There was a pattern that depicted a scene of two great beings fighting a battle on the vast plains. There was also a pattern that depicted a scene of a great being killing a large number of other great beings. The patterns all exuded some kind of ancient aura and power, causing the entire palace hall to be enshrouded in a strange atmosphere. Feels as though I am on a battlefield. Lo Feng was in the palace hall, feeling his heart set ablaze as he felt the impulse to fight and kill. He was appalled as he realized, my willpower can feel the influence. This palace hall is filled with true treasures said sitting mountain guest. Including the decorative items, all of them are true treasures. Majority of them are, however, just ordinary true treasures. Lo Feng's eyes scanned everything around him. There were many display cases and shelves in the hall, 
and on them were knives, blades, strings, ropes, shuttles, maces, hammers, axes, clocks, pagodas, boats, balls, flowers, grass, cloths, medallions, statues, cubes. All sort of items, strange and bizarre, numbering as many as a few thousand, scattered throughout the hall. All these all true treasures? Lo Feng was taken aback. All of these are. Even the items used to contain things are. Sitting mountain guest smiled. Ordinary true treasures were made easily and effortlessly, so to me, they do not really have much value. Like that transmission token, ornaments, decorative ornaments, and many others. All of these are just ordinary true treasures. Lo Feng went speechless at such wonders. Even craftsman master would not be able to make such statements. Only sitting mountain guest was qualified enough to dare say that ordinary true treasures were made so effortlessly. So, which is mine? Lo Feng asked. In that corner. Sitting mountain guest pointed to a faraway corner. Lo Feng looked to where sitting mountain guest was pointing and saw the seemingly ordinary blade in a corner of the room. He walked over right away. The scabbard was a dusty gray, and on it were some sculptures that looked beautiful. The moment Lo Feng reached out to touch it, he felt the presence of an evil spirit that was so overwhelming that it invaded his body instantly. Hung. Within the vast black space, a blade several tens of thousands of miles long hung suspended horizontally in midair. The blade was slowly being drawn out of the sheath, and the frightening evil spirit seemed to continuously invade Lo Feng's willpower. Clang. The blade was completely unsheathed. A murderous intention whirled up in the air and spread all over. At this moment, Lo Feng's life imprint stored within his godly power was completely branded onto the blade. The blade shall be called. Absolute guest. Lo Feng whispered. Use this for now sitting mountain guest said. This blade should be more than enough for you. Of course, what would suit you best would be a pinnacle true treasure blade that is made with your golden horn world stone as its core. All the limitless essence of gold in the world within your body converge to form a golden horn world stone. Once made into a weapon, it would be the most suitable one for you. The materials required were exceptionally more than usual, and you are still unable to provide me with those yet. Golden Horn World Stone? Lo Feng's eyes lit up. So, teacher did have his plans. Golden Horn World Stone is the convergence of the limitless essence of gold in the world within your body that was trillions of miles large. It is an extreme limit of the metallic materials within the primal universe. At least, within the primal universe, it was one of the top-tier metals. Only at Universe Ocean can you find something better than that. But, judging from your body, using Golden Horn World Stone to make a weapon would be the most suitable for you. Lo Feng immediately asked, what are the materials I need? After you have killed a Universe Master or ten top-tier Universe Overlords, then we shall talk about it sitting mountain guest said. This pinnacle true treasure blade, absolute guest is one treasure I expended a lot of hard work and effort to make. Don't let it down. Hmm. Lo Feng nodded. All right, you should get going. Sitting mountain guest was not one to hold Lo Feng back. Yes. Since teacher had said so, Lo Feng gave a bow and left quickly. Looking on until Lo Feng was out of sight, sitting mountain guest returned to his seat in the garden and picked up the same piece of stone. Looking down at it, he sighed softly. When is the time I can further improve? Lo Feng had barely returned to his god country and was just getting started in familiarizing himself with the pinnacle true treasure blade absolute guest, which was extremely powerful. It was then that he received mail from primal chaos city leader, who was in the virtual universe. Lo Feng, blade river master, regarding what happened on the original star, why didn't you come to me? Don't you know that the universe masters of humanity have not taken a break because of you? Come over here as soon as you can. The moment he read the mail, Lo Feng's eyes lit up and his heart started beating faster and faster. Of course, he should have guessed that what happened on the original stars would cause the higher-ups of humanity to commence with urgent meetings to discuss his actions. Now that teacher had summoned him, it seemed a concluding decision had been made. Teacher called me Blade River Master? Lo Feng could not be bothered with anything else and immediately let his consciousness connect to the virtual universe. Chapter 1130 meeting of six tycoons, at the apex of Thunder Island in the virtual universe. The giant round graphite table was surrounded by endless airflow. There were six gigantic stone chairs around the table, each with complex sculptures on it. On the table were also numerous sculptures. Teacher said Lo Feng. Take a seat. Primal Chaos City leader sat down and pointed to the second chair on his left-hand side. Sit there. Sure. 
Lo Feng sat down and took a look at the stone table in front of him. He was curious as he never knew there was a place like this in his teacher's palace, and it was floating right above the palace of Primal Chaos City Leader. He glanced at the sculptures on the stone table. One of the pictures depicted three great beings saluting a great being, one depicted a great being doing mass slaughtering, and one depicted how two great beings attacked a group of great beings. The sculptures were abstract, but Lo Feng could tell that one was Primal Chaos City Leader. And there's my chair. Lo Feng sat down after he noticed a sculpture on the back of the chair. There were several scenes in the sculptures. One of them depicted an individual facing thousands of beings. Another depicted a huge oval enveloping all those thousands of beings, and they all died under that dome. You should have figured it out by now. Primal Chaos City Leader looked at Lo Feng with a grinning face. The seniors of the human race decided that you're the 19th universe master of the human race. Lo Feng couldn't help be overjoyed at first. And then, he was a bit confused. The 19th one? That meant the human race had 18 universe masters in total, before Lo Feng became one. That meant the human race had a great number of universe masters comparatively. The bug race and automaton race might only have fewer than 10 universe masters, and the demon race might have around the same number. Yes. Primal Chaos City Leader nodded. But, according to my information. Lo Feng looked confused. He had the access authority of a top-tier universe master, and he should have been able to get information about the universe masters of the human race and other powers in the universe. Based on the information he had on hand, there were only 15 universe masters in the human race. Why was he the 19th? You know of 15, right? Primal Chaos City Leader smiled. Each power has some secrets, and there are some hidden universe masters within our race. There are 18 universe masters in total in our human race, excluding you. There are five from the Virtual Universe Company and Hugh Jack's Dojo, three from the Universe Mercenary Alliance, three from the Universe First Bank, and two from Universe Star River Bank. Lo Feng listened carefully. What Primal Chaos City leader had just said was different from what he knew. He knew there were only four in the Virtual Universe Company, so apparently, one was in the shadows the whole time. Of course, if we include you, there are six in total, now. Primal Chaos City leader smiled. You're the first disciple of mine to become a universe master. Ha ha ha. I have an edge of this in front of my brother now. Brother? Lo Feng couldn't help asking. You have a brother? Two, actually said Primal Chaos City Leader. They are both universe masters, and there were lots of other brothers who are not universe masters. Lo Feng nodded. He also had lots of brothers. Wait. If there are brothers, there must be a teacher. Primal Chaos City Leader had two brothers who were Universe Masters, which meant that teacher had three disciples who were Universe Masters. Who was he? Let me introduce you to the Universe Masters of my Virtual Universe Company. Primal Chaos City Leader smiled. The first one is Long Yan Master. He's an elder in my Virtual Universe Company, and he's been a Universe Master for a very long time. You've met him before. Lo Feng nodded. The second one, also my brother, is Ice Mountain Master. He's very aloof, but he's great at handling the important issues. Lo Feng knew of this Ice Mountain Master, too. He was a great being proficient in close combat, and he was one of the Pinnacle Universe Masters as well. He was only slightly weaker than Primal Chaos City Leader, and he might have been stronger than Flame Emperor. The third one, also my brother, is Darkness Master. He's rarely involved with the issues of the human race, and he hardly ever shows up. Few know of him, and he's a very low-key disciple of our teacher. Without letting anyone know, he has become a universe master. Primal Chaos City Leader smiled. Lo Feng was startled. Darkness Master. He'd never heard of him. Even the powers of the universe don't know about him, said Primal Chaos City Leader. Of course, Darkness Master is well known in the universe ocean. And he's a terrifying universe master. Ha ha. The powers in the universe don't even know that Darkness Master is of the human race when they run into him in the universe ocean. The fourth one is Remote Lord Master, said Primal Chaos City Leader. He's the youngest of the five Universe Masters in the Virtual Universe Company before you joined. And he's a disciple of Darkness Master. Ah. Lo Feng was startled. Remoteness Lord Master was also a reckless Universe Master who was great in killing and combat. Of course, he was weaker than Ice Mountain Master and Primal Chaos City Leader, but he was also a strong Universe Master. He was at the same level as the previous Blood Cloud Palace Leader and he was a disciple of Darkness Master. My brother's disciple became a Universe Master, and now, my disciple has also become a Universe Master. 
Primal Chaos City leader smiled. From now on, there will be six universe masters in the virtual universe. Okay, I'll call the four of them here now. The universe masters of the virtual universe should gather first. Lo Feng nodded. There were several groups in the human race, and the virtual universe was a group itself. However, the group had significant power, as Primal Chaos City Leader and Ice Mountain Master were both top-tier universe masters. Long Yan Master was not much weaker. As for Darkness Master, he was mysterious and probably rivaled Primal Chaos City Leader. Although Remote Lord Master was a youngster, he was also powerful. Lo Feng was as strong as Remote Lord Master, without Star Tower, of course. Lo Feng sat there and waited. A being walked in. He was lanky and had a horn on both of his ears. There was an eye between the eyebrows, and he wore scaled navy armor. He didn't wear his remote lord bayonet, as he was in the virtual universe. Lo Feng recognized him immediately and stood up. Remote lord master. Lo Feng. Remote lord master looked fierce, but he was still smiling when he saw Lo Feng. Remote lord master Lo Feng said again, smiling. Uncle. Remote Lord Master bowed to Primal Chaos City Leader to show respect, but didn't bow low. After all, he was a Universe Master. Sit said Primal Chaos City Leader. Interesting. Another being walked in. That towering body and the dragon tail. It was Long Yan Master. I haven't seen the Universe Masters from the Huge Axe Dojo that upset for a long time. Long Yan Master sat down and gave Lo Feng a nod. Lo Feng, you were really impressive on that original star when you killed more than 6,000 universe knights in one strike. We calculated that each alliance lost at least one domain type pinnacle true treasure. Lo Feng shook his head. I could have done better. I should have fought Master of Banfu for a longer time so that more universe knights went into the zone. Long Yan Master and Remote Lord Master were at first dazed, then started to guffaw. Suddenly, a sense of coldness permeated. It was a silver-haired man carrying a blade on his back. He wore ancient armor with bloodstains on it, and he was the most handsome universe master in the virtual universe company. It was Ice Mountain Master. Ice Mountain Master nodded at Primal Chaos City Leader and sat down. He glanced at Long Yan Master, Lo Feng, and Remote Lord Master, and they all nodded at him. So cold, Lo Feng thought. Suddenly, a being walked in from the distance, and before they could see clearly who he was, a wicked dark force permeated. He wore a black coat outside and silver and black armor inside. He was bald, and his skin was like jade. There were complex black engravings on his head, and he gazed at people like a snake extending his tongue. Even space and time were affected by him, trapped in a strange atmosphere. Brother said Primal Chaos City Leader. Brother said Darkness Master. Lo Feng was startled. He suddenly realized the difference between his teacher Primal Chaos City Leader and Darkness Master. Primal Chaos City Leader looked peaceful and tranquil, while Darkness Master was endlessly dark and wicked. They had exactly the opposite aura. And their power was at the same level. No wonder, thought Lo Feng. He's Darkness Master. Darkness Master stood in his chair and looked at Lo Feng. Brother, is this your disciple, Lo Feng? Chapter 1131. The Origin. The moment Darkness Master set his eyes on someone, a creepy and strange tune would seem to start reverberating in that person's mind. Then, without being able to resist, the person would fall under his influence. The flow of illusion consisted of an unconscious penetration of the mind to draw one into an illusion. Darkness Master did not make use of any disguise, and everyone knew about his invisible influence. But pulling away from it was very difficult. Lo Feng, this is your teacher Uncle Primal Chaos City Leader said. The moment he spoke, the spookiness in the surroundings became mild, while that creepy, strange force seemed to be wiped out. Teacher Uncle Lo Feng greeted. I heard you have cultivated for slightly over a billion years. Darkness Master studied Lo Feng's face and continued, I am not surprised you have been able to reach this standard within such a short time, since for an endless time, you have been my brother's most outstanding disciple. Lo Feng replied, actually, the time I spent on cultivation was not only slightly over a billion years. I once cultivated for a long time at a place where time flew by extremely fast. Everyone, including Primal Chaos City Leader, nodded. They were all relieved, but places like House of Time required an alarming amount of energy to sustain revolution, and the greater the rate of time velocity, the more expensive it would cost. Therefore, the more difficult sustenance would be. Furthermore, the evolution of the universe would last for an endless time, and combat was the best method for honing skills and building up bodies. 
This was why few top powers would send their geniuses to a certain place in isolation to get them to cultivate diligently. All right. Primal Chaos City leader scanned his surroundings. As of today, the six leaders of the Virtual Universe branch are all gathered here. At the moment, Long Yan Master, Ice Mountain Master, Darkness Master, Yu Hu Master, and Lo Feng all looked over to listen to what Primal Chaos City leader had to say. In terms of power and status, Primal Chaos City leader was unquestionably the leading figure of the Virtual Universe branch. The birth of one more Universe Master would be a blessing for us in the Virtual Universe, and it is also a blessing for humanity, said Primal Chaos City leader with a smile. And this disciple of mine, when it comes to survival ability, he beats all six of us hands down. Oh. Darkness Master looked over. Ice Mountain Master also looked at Lo Feng silently. Really? Yu Hu Master and Long Yan Master asked outright. Primal Chaos City leader elaborated. Lo Feng. For one thing, he has the talent of being able to divide bodies. Two, one of his bodies has a life form that resembles that of Nine Remoteness Master. Nine Remoteness Master? Darkness Master, Long Yan Master, Ice Mountain Master, Yu Hu Master, all looked over at Lo Feng in surprise. Lo Feng said, I was just lucky. He showed no trace of displeasure toward his teacher's candid approach in pointing out his capabilities, as he was aware that he had to fight for his status with his capabilities. From how things looked to him, the Virtual Universe branch was the strongest. His apparent capability should be close to that of Yu Hu Master, who was the weakest of the lot. So long as he was able to show part of his capability, his status would be different. Moreover, whether his remote ocean body was revealed or not would not make much difference. It was just like how Nine Remoteness Master openly made known to the entire universe that no one would be able to do anything to him. Lo Feng. How big is the ocean of your godly body? Darkness Master asked out of curiosity. It was something the few other universe masters present were curious about, too. After all, Nine Remoteness Master's ocean godly body was comparable to a supreme true treasure and was something many great beings were secretly envious of. The time I spent on cultivation was short, so the ocean of my godly body is still in the initial stage of expansion Lo Feng said. Its diameter is only a couple tens of billions of miles. A couple tens of billions? Yu Hu Master took a deep breath. Darkness Master, Long Yan Master, and Ice Mountain Master were all taken aback. Gosh. Even the Lee Volcano and World Tree, which were considered to have immensely large godly bodies, were only slightly past 6 billion miles. Such godly bodies were more than enough to send great beings into despair, so learning that Lo Feng's ocean godly body was several tens of billions of miles wide was astounding news. Everyone could only stare wide-eyed and mouth agape. The speed at which great beings fought and attacked to cause such an ocean to be used up would never match up to the speed of its self-recovery. Amazing. Admirable. What a massive godly body. Darkness Master and Ice Mountain Master sang Lo Feng's praises. They were starting to see him in a different light. Previously, their only impression of him was that he was just another universe master of humanity. Lo Feng's combat power was still much lower compared to theirs, but he had a limitless remote ocean that they did not possess. And because of this, Lo Feng's status immediately rose up the ranks. The question was, why was Nine Remoteness Master so frightening? The answer was because Nine Remoteness Master would always make use of his strongest talent technique and risk his life for every fight he was involved in. Even if Nine Remoteness Master were to self-destruct, within a twinkling of the eye, a new Nine Remoteness Master would appear. On the other hand, even if his opponent also had the talent of dividing bodies, to recover from the loss of a strong godly body would entail a hefty price. This was why Nine Remoteness Master became such an intimidating presence within the universe. Lo Feng. Darkness Master let out a smile, which was most rarely seen, and said, with your remote ocean body, making use of the strongest technique of a universe master, you self-destructed. This technique alone would enable you to run rampant throughout the universe. Lo Feng nodded with a smile. Yes. I am the universe was a technique that was very demanding on one's godly power. When one had reached the undying level, only with the perfect life gene level could he make use of this technique. Upon reaching the universe night level, remote ocean body would need a godly power that was at least 10 times stronger to be able to make use of I am the universe. With a body that was 5,500 miles tall, one could fully make use of I am the universe. The ultimate attack technique was to directly carry out destruction of miniature universe. 
his original earthling body and golden-horned beast body, did not dare to make use of destruction of miniature universe because the explosive power of this technique did not have the ability to differentiate foe from self, there was the possibility of self-annihilation. Yet remote ocean body had nothing to fear. From Lo Feng's point of view, he was now merely a universe knight, for remote ocean body to make use of this technique of universe destruction, the power was not strong enough. When he had become a universe master. Then this technique would truly instill fear among the other great beings. Remote ocean body was a trump card that would earn Lo Feng a unique status. Primal Chaos City leader smiled and said, we will be carrying out the highest level meeting of the human race in a while. But before that, Lo Feng, for your status as Universe Master, what do you intend to use as your name? My name is a Universe Master? Lo Feng mused to himself. Blade River Emperor was only one of your disguises previously Primal Chaos City Leader said. Now, the whole universe calls you by the name of Blade River Master. You can use Blade River Master, or you can use another name of your choice. Upon becoming a Universe Master, maybe you will have your own opinions. This is why the majority of Universe Masters change their names to something new. Like me. When my teacher entrusted me with Primal Chaos City, to constantly remind myself of my teacher's entrustment, I changed my name to Primal Chaos City Leader. Lo Feng nodded. He understood. For some Universe Masters, if they were weaker, they did not dare to give themselves names that sounded overpowering, as this would cause other beings to look down on them. However, as they get more powerful, their ambitious goals would start to change. Therefore, they would change their universe names. A name. Lo Feng said to himself. Some great beings renamed themselves according to the weapons they were skilled in using. Some renamed themselves something in remembrance of their hometown or something in their hearts they wanted to hold onto. Some renamed themselves purely out of ambitious goals. Lo Feng smiled and announced, Milky Way Horde Leader. I shall be called Milky Way Horde Leader. He could still remember those days on Earth when he looked up at the sky to see the limitless Milky Way filled with stars. The Milky Way, where home was. Making it to where he was today. Was it all not for the sake of protecting his loved ones? Was it not for the sake of protecting his hometown? Hard leader. It also represented his territory, so he needed to defend his own territory. Milky Way hard leader. The five universe masters gave his choice some thought, then all nodded in agreement. A name was merely a designation. When one chose to give himself another name, the other great beings would not interfere, unless the name was simply too awful or was a taboo that must be abstained from. Otherwise, regardless of how weird a name was, it truly did not matter. Okay said Primal Chaos City Leader. So the sixth universe master of the virtual universe branch will be Milky Way Horde Leader. He suddenly stood up and said, let's go. We shall go meet the creator of our virtual universe branch now. Creator of our virtual universe branch? Lo Feng felt a little tremor of fear in his heart. Hugh Jack's creator was the creator of Hugh Jack's dojo. But the creator of the virtual universe branch. Who could that be? Lo Feng had tried to search for answers in the past, but always ended up with no returns. His authority was limited and thus insufficient. Darkness Master also stood up. Let's go meet teacher. To meet teacher. Ice Mountain Master followed suit. In an instant, all six Universe Master ascended to the sky amidst a limitless chaotic airflow and advanced along the path of the airflow. Lo Feng Primal Chaos City Leader said as he flew. I, Darkness, and Ice Mountain are all Teacher's disciples. Teacher has made great contributions to humanity. If not for him, humanity would never be able to become a pinnacle race so easily. Even Hugh Jack's creator had once received Teacher's guidance and kindness. He was humanity's first Universe Supreme Being, Following Primal Chaos City Leader's voice, Long Yan Master, who was beside them, also said, I have also received his kind guidance. Lo Feng held his breath. He knew he had touched on highly confidential information about humankind. All these years, and he only knew that humanity had Hugh Jack's creator. Even Sitting Mountain guests only knew Hugh Jack's creator. The strongest being in humanity that everyone knew of was Hugh Jack's creator. They had not heard of another. Teacher's name is Origin Primal Chaos City Leader said. Previously, humankind was only a strong race. Under Teacher's guidance, we have grown and gotten stronger. Teacher ran rampant in the universe, roamed the universe ocean, and killed countless to eventually build up his reputation. This had allowed humanity to gain power and continue to grow stronger. In the primal universe, there are quite a few universe supreme beings, but Teacher can be said to be incomparable. The other supreme beings keep their distance if they see him from afar. 
all the way across the universe ocean. His name is always the most renowned continued Primal Chaos City leader. Invincible. No one is comparable to Teacher. Primal Chaos City leader's eyes were filled with admiration as memories of past events came flashing back. Even Darkness Master, Ice Mountain Master, and Long Yan Master fell silent. They were all immersed in their memories of their teacher. Previously, when humanity gained its reputation as a top power, even the ancestral god school, who has the protection of the universe origin, was reluctant to provoke our race. At that time, we humans were at our prime. The six universe masters flew through space together, causing the chaotic airflow in the surroundings to be continuously forced apart. There was absolute silence all around. Only primal chaos city leader's voice could be heard. Lo Feng was also completely immersed in his imagination as he tried to picture the one presence which, from the primal universe all the way across universe ocean, was said to be formidable. Even other supreme beings knew to keep their distance. We have arrived. Primal Chaos City Leader said. Lo Feng raised his head to look and saw that surrounded by the airflow were countless towering statues. There were endless fluctuations in the various laws of gold, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, lightning, light, space, time, golden space, wooden space, water space. Various sorts of laws, to the extent of the fluctuations in the laws of revolution, all seemed to surge out of the countless statues. With a faraway look in his eyes, Lo Feng seemed to have felt the similarity between these countless towering statues and the universe origins. Chapter 1132. Virtual Universe. Primal Chaos City Leader, Ice Mountain Master, and Darkness Master were flying in the front, while Long Yan Master, Remote Lord Master, and Milky Way Horde Leader Lo Feng flew at the back. Six beings kept flying. In the boundless space, the towering sculpture looked clearer when they approached it. The greatest being in human history? Thought Lo Feng. The most powerful being in the original universe, and even in the universe ocean? Cultivated three universe masters including Primal Chaos City Leader? Lo Feng gazed at the towering sculpture in the distance. Although he had only heard about him from his teacher, he was already filled with awe and worship. What an incredible being! He had created the virtual universe, and other universe supreme masters could only avoid him, and he made the human race the strongest power in the universe. Even the ancestral god school wasn't willing to mess with the human race. Impressive accomplishments. This is Teacher Origin? Lo Feng kept observing the sculpture. Teacher Origin was a lanky man wearing a white cape with a smile on his face. Behind his smile was a perfection that could only be attained after fully comprehending everything. Lo Feng raised his head and looked at the sculpture. He saw the trace of a smile on his face, and that smile made Lo Feng completely peaceful. He felt as if he were nestling in his mother's arms again. He looked as if he had seen through everything in the universe, and that there was nothing he didn't know. He looked stalwart, as if he were the pillar of the universe. The universe revolved around him. Teacher. Primal Chaos City Leader, Ice Mountain Master and Darkness Master stopped. Primal Chaos City Leader bowed and said, there's one more universe master in the virtual universe now, and he's my disciple, Lo Feng. I have brought him here to greet you. Primal Chaos City Leader turned to Lo Feng. Lo Feng. Greet your teacher, Origin. Lo Feng walked up beside Primal Chaos City Leader and gave a salutation. Teacher Origin, he said. Lo Feng absolutely admired this legendary being, as the human race had risen because of Teacher Origin. He had guided Hugh Jack's founder. He had even created the virtual universe. If it weren't for Teacher Origin, the history of Earth might have been different. Primal Chaos City leader raised his head and looked at the towering sculpture, and his eyes gleamed. I follow your order. I've been guarding Primal Chaos City and the humans, and I didn't dare to slack in my duties. Now that Lo Feng has become a universe master, we humans will be stronger. I believe that we will prosper. Darkness Master and Ice Mountain Master both bowed and whispered, but their voices were blocked from the outside. It was depressive in front of the sculpture. The atmosphere affected the six Universe Masters, and even Darkness Master became like a child. We'll leave now. Primal Chaos City Leader bowed. The other Universe Masters did the same, then they all flew away. The air was flowing, and they disappeared in the airflow. The towering sculpture stood still, just as it had been doing for an infinity of eras, but its eyes blinked and glanced at the six beings who flew away. A dimming voice said, Lo Feng? Six beings kept flying in the airflow. Lo Feng couldn't help asking, Teacher, why did I feel that there were many lower ripples around the sculpture of Teacher Origin, as if it were the Land of Origin? What a powerful place the Land of Origin was. 
even universe supreme masters didn't dare resist it. All the life forms in the universe trained themselves in the universe origin and accomplished everything because of the origin ocean. Primal Chaos City leader looked at Lo Feng. That is the land of origin. Yes. Ice Mountain Master, who had thus far been aloof, opened his mouth. However, that's the land of origin of the virtual universe. The land of origin of the virtual universe? Lo Feng was shocked. Another universe origin? Everything is virtual in the virtual universe, and all the laws can be practiced and comprehended. It was Darkness Master who spoke this time, and his voice sounded wicked but elegant. Of course, there's a universe origin supporting the virtual universe. You won't be able to practice in a fantasy. Lo Feng was rendered speechless. That was right. No fantasies allowed great beings to practice. You can still practice in a fantasy said Primal Chaos City Leader, and you can't even feel the difference. However, only a few Universe Supreme Masters are able to perform those fantasies, and also, only the laws that Universe Supreme Masters can manifest can be practiced. It will consume a great amount of energy for great beings to practice in a fantasy. The virtual universe was created by Teacher Origin, said Lo Feng. Does that mean Teacher Origin knows all the laws? Is it possible? As the virtual universe can form a universe origin. Lo Feng found it hard to believe. Teacher Origin knew all the merge laws, all the individual laws and even the law operation of the universe? No. Primal Chaos City leader glimpsed at Lo Feng and smiled. Remote Lord was also confused like you were when he went to visit Teacher Origin the first time. Remote Lord, why don't you explain it to Lo Feng? Remote Lord Master nodded and looked at Lo Feng. Not necessarily. Besides, the virtual universe is not a fantasy. It's different than a fantasy. It would require a great sum of energies for fantasies to allow great beings to practice laws, but the virtual universe can always be a place for great beings to train themselves, even for universe knights and universe masters. Lo Feng nodded. How much energy do you think would be consumed to allow so many great beings to practice if it's a fantasy? Remote Lord Master smiled. Actually, the virtual universe hardly consumes any energy. What? Lo Feng was dazed. Hardly consumed any energy? It would require a lot of energy to maintain a virtual space, and the virtual universe covered almost the entire universe. Countless humans were connected to the virtual universe every day, but it hardly required any energy? Brother Lo Feng said Remote Lord Master with a smile. There are countless races breeding and fighting, and even consuming the godly power in the origin ocean every day. Do you think the original universe is consuming energy? The energy from the original universe is eternal, said Lo Feng. Since the energy of the original universe is never consumed, why are those of virtual universe consumed? Said Remote Lord Master. Lo Feng was truly amazed. Could the virtual universe rival the original universe? Don't look down upon your teacher origin, said Primal Chaos City Leader. He looked at Lo Feng, and Darkness Master and Ice Mountain Master looked odd as well. Darkness Master said, Humph. No Universe Supreme Masters dared to fight teacher in the Universe Ocean. If our teacher were still here, the three alliances wouldn't dare to scheme you. If they do, teacher origin will attack the three alliances directly, and they can only give valuables to mitigate it. Lo Feng couldn't help asking, then how did teacher origin? How did Teacher Origin die? The other five Universe Masters knew exactly what Lo Feng was about to ask. Teacher is still alive. Primal Chaos City Leader said solemnly. Yes. He's still alive. Said Darkness Master. Teacher won't die. Said Ice Mountain Master. Lo Feng was bewildered. Then how come everyone said there was only one Universe Supreme Master within the human race and he could only visit a sculpture? Teacher Origin was almighty, and he's the most powerful universe supreme master. Darkness Master's eyes gleamed. No one can match Teacher Origin. However, Teacher Origin still seeks a path to be stronger, which goes against the universe operation law, as he's provoking the universe origin. Provoking the universe origin? When Virtual Real Devil Master went to kill him, he had shown extremely incredible power. Chains had suddenly appeared in the sky and bound Virtual Real Devil Master. Those chains disappeared only after Virtual Real Devil Master weakened his power. The universe operation law is not allowed to be provoked. However, Teacher Origin was so powerful that he wanted to go against it. He provoked it again and again. Then he was punished by the universe origin. Darkness Master said confidently. However, Teacher Origin already stood at the top of the universe Supreme Masters, so even though the universe origin was infuriated and tried to punish him, it still couldn't stop him from advancing. Lo Feng was shocked. 
he could only imagine how the universe origin kept punishing teacher origin while he kept making breakthroughs. Eventually, teacher origin fought against a universe origin darkness master said with awe in his eyes. And the result is that teacher origin was suppressed by the universe origin forever. Suppressed? Lo Feng held his breath. Wow. A universe supreme master dared to fight the universe origin. How insane that was. However, he had been suppressed forever. Even though he's suppressed forever darkness master said in his high-pitched voice, teacher origin still performed the technique virtual universe, which covers the entire universe. Only other universe supreme masters and the universe origin can slightly hinder it. Lo Feng nodded. The range controlled by Space Beast Ancestor didn't allow for the virtual universe, as this was the will of Space Beast Ancestor. The virtual universe was also not allowed on the original stars because of the universe origin. It covers the entire universe. Darkness Master looked to Lo Feng. Have you ever heard of a technique that powerful? Teacher Origin even has a universe master slave, and he's a universe master of the automaton race. That universe master is the intelligent core of the virtual universe Darkness Master went on. Everyone knows the virtual universe needs to deal with countless programs every day, and it's extremely complicated. Even powerful universe masters won't be able to deal with it. However, the universe master of the automaton race is an intelligent life form himself and can easily maintain it after becoming a universe master. Usually, that universe master deals with everything, and teacher origin doesn't care what we're doing. However, we have to go to the land of origin of the virtual universe if we want to meet teacher origin. Lo Feng couldn't help asking, are there any ways to save teacher origin from the suppression? Chapter 1133? Rong Jun. Lo Feng had only gotten to learn some major information about this legendary character today, but that did not stop him from worshipping teacher origin then and there. In Lo Feng's point of view, he had servants that were universe masters, had built the virtual universe, stood at the highest peak, and had gone to war with the universe origin. Finally, he had ended up in eternal suppression. Every event evoked a surge of admiration and respect for such a leader of humanity. If such a leader could appear in the universe once again, it would be one grand occasion for humanity. Is there any way out? Lo Feng looked at the other universe masters. Darkness Master was silent. Primal Chaos City leader sighed and answered, No. Long Yan Master's resounding voice was heard. Hugh Jack's creator has thought about it too, but he could not come up with a solution either. The servant of Teacher Origin, who is the core intelligence of the virtual universe, also informed us that Teacher Origin was unable to find any solution. Lo Feng sighed and nodded. After all, this was eternal suppression by the universe origin. Who could render help? All six universe masters, including Lo Feng, had just returned to Thunder Island when they received mail from Hugh Jack's creator, who was inviting them to join in the highest level meeting of the human race. There are two kinds of highest level meetings Primal Chaos City leader said with a grin. One is a large-scale, highest level meeting where all universe knights, universe masters, and universe supreme beings will have to attend. Such a large-scale, highest level meeting would normally be about major happenings or events that would compromise the benefits of universe knights. The other important matters that only concern the race, normally an internal discussion would suffice, and this other kind of highest level meeting would be attended by universe masters and universe supreme beings. This was convened by Hugh Jack's creator. Thus, it is also known as Hugh Jack's meeting. Hugh Jack's meeting? Lo Feng nodded. The previous highest level meeting attended by a large number of universe knights was merely an announcement session where they all listened to a universe master issue information. The actual decision makers were universe masters and universe supreme beings. This was why Hugh Jack's meeting was where decisions for various matters of the race were made. Your authority limit has been increased, so you can directly transport over to Hugh Jack's God Palace Primal Chaos City Leader said. The Hugh Jack's meeting will be held at Hugh Jack's God Palace. Oh. Lo Feng checked again and realized there were a few additional places he could transport to. Let's go Primal Chaos City Leader said. Within an instant, the six universe masters of the virtual universe branch disappeared from Thunder Island. For their branch. Primal Chaos City leader was obviously the one in command. Amidst endless darkness, there were indistinct flashes of starlight from afar. A simple plain-looking god palace hung suspended in mid-air. In the empty space in front of the god palace, which was not too big nor too small, there was a long stone table. There was only one stone chair at the position of the host seat, while on either side of the table was a stretch of stone chairs, all occupied by several towering figures. 
the universe masters were in discussion. They were divided into several cliques, so it was typical for them to poke fun at each other. Ha ha. Deserted mirror. Previously, all of you were so unwilling to hand over Earth's ownership rights to Lo Feng. In the end, the final say still lies with Hugh Jacks. We have said that the day Lo Feng sits with us will be the day we hand him Earth ownership rights. That wasn't too long ago, right? Lo Feng has already earned his place beside us now. Didn't you also object to it previously? I have no family ties to worry about, so naturally, I will take a neutral stand. Actually, from how things turn out now, maybe you all should have acceded to Lo Feng's request back then, and accepted the disambiguation mirror stone for half of Earth's ownership rights. Now? Now that Lo Feng is on equal footing with us, according to what Hugh Jax has said, we must surrender all the ownership rights to Lo Feng, but at the same time, the disambiguation mirror stones are off limits to us. Humph. Hua. 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 Six figures appeared almost simultaneously. They were none other than the six great beings from the Virtual Universe branch with Primal Chaos City Leader as their leader. Primal Chaos City Leader. Primal Chaos City Leader, you are here. Primal Chaos City Leader. Almost all the Universe Masters who were already present greeted Primal Chaos City Leader the moment they saw him. After all, within all of humanity, the ones with the highest status were unquestionably Hugh Jack's creator and teacher Origin, who had been eternally suppressed by the Universe Origins. Other than these two, Primal Chaos City Leader, who was eternally protecting the Primal Universe, was right next in line, so naturally, he would be highly respected. Darkness, you are here too? It is quite rare to see you making an appearance. I didn't expect Darkness to turn up. There have been so many meetings before this, but never once has he turned up. The Universe Masters were speaking incessantly while the group of six with their leader, Primal Chaos City Leader, took their seats. The six Universe Masters of the Virtual Universe branch sat together in a straight horizontal row, with Primal Chaos City Leader nearest to the host seat, followed by Long Yan Master, Darkness Master, Ice Mountain Master, Yu Hu Master, and lastly, Milky Way Horde Leader. Lo Feng sat down and observed the other Universe Masters as he humbly replied to their conversations. Luck. I was lucky to make such accomplishments because I had the chance to cultivate in peace for a long period in places like House of Time. It was just by chance encounter that I managed to create that technique. Ha ha. The three major alliances were after my life, I needed to be ruthless to save myself. As he spoke, he observed meticulously. After all, all those present were already the top-tier beings of humanity. Previously, he had only managed to look up some information, but he had never met them in person before. Hugh Jack's dojo branch has Hugh Jack's creator as its leader. Normally, Void Goldmaster would be the one managing the dojo, who was previously the substitute teacher for my big brother, Hong, and the creator of the Sky Ruins tablet. Lo Feng looked over and saw that Void Goldmaster was a towering figure with long, dazzling golden hair. He wore a smile on his face and had eyebrows that were so long they hung all the way down to his chest. In terms of how he carried himself, he was no less charismatic than Primal Chaos City Leader. The Universe Mercenary Alliance has Deserted Mirror Master as its leader, Lo Feng realized as he observed carefully. Deserted Mirror Master was hideous looking, and his body was covered with complicated scales. There were three sharp horns on his head, so at first glance, he looked like a beast in human form. The aura he exuded was equally domineering. Deserted Mirror Master was also observing Lo Feng with due diligence, of all the Universe Masters present who observing Lo Feng, the number of times he looked over at Lo Feng ranked in the top three. The Universe First Bank has King Dong Master as its leader. King Dong Master was wearing a green armor with a green cape, and on his cape were complicated secret engravings that formed a beautiful beast diagram. That beast did not belong to any species of the eight beast gods. Universe Star River Bank has Peng Gong Master as its leader. Lo Feng looked at Peng Gong Master. Of the three Universe Masters staring at Lo Feng, Peng Gong Master topped the list. He was slightly stout, bold, and had a large beard that drooped. From the aura he exuded, he was by far the weakest Universe Master present. And the Universe Star River Bank branch he led only had a total of two Universe Masters, which was the least of the lot. Yet, according to the information that Lo Feng had read up on, Peng Gong Master's power was ranked at the top of humanity. Even Void Gold Master was not his match. He was, in fact, comparable to Primal Chaos City Leader. Humanity is indeed strong. Lo Feng could not help but sigh. There are more Universe Masters at the pinnacle level, there were even a few that were at the top tier level. 
This is considered extremely high in the universe. This was based on all the understanding Lo Feng had gained so far. The powers of universe masters could be categorized as elementary ordinary pinnacle and top tier. The elementary category referred to those who had just become universe masters, with a life gene level of 100 times, who had yet to create an ultimate technique of a universe master. This group of universe masters rarely made appearances. They were more inclined to isolate themselves in solitude to devote themselves to honing their power. The ordinary category referred to those who used a certain amount of resources to get their life gene level to reach a stage whereby it was temporarily difficult to achieve further increase, for example, 1000 times the life gene level. In addition, they had created their ultimate technique of a universe master and had obtained quite outstanding true treasures. The pinnacle category was made up of universe masters who might possess very powerful true treasures or created very strong techniques or had life gene levels that might have reached around 10,000 times. Satisfying one of the above, then meeting the requirements of the other two, would just be a matter of time. This was the point where a universe master was almost considered to be at the pinnacle level. The top tier category referred to universe masters like Star River Master, Primal Chaos City Leader, and Darkness Master. In terms of life gene level, true treasures and techniques, these masters had attained an extremely high level. That was the only way to be considered top tier. The five branches of humanity. From how I see it, the virtual universe branch is the strongest link. Especially the three disciples of teacher origin. Teacher, darkness master, and ice mountain master. All of them were about the top tier level. Lo Feng sighed inwardly as he thought about how truly powerful the disciples under the tutelage of teacher origin were. The other four branches seemed to pale in comparison when it came to quality. Even Hugh Jack's creator had once received the guidance of teacher origin. As Lo Feng sat contemplating the power of the greatest level of humanity and sighing over how he was the last one in line, Hugh Jack's creator finally turned up. Hua. With a head of disheveled hair, a wild-looking giant appeared on the host seat. That very instant, the universe masters quietened down as all their expressions registered respect. Only Lo Feng, though also looking respectful, was unable to conceal the hint of surprise he felt. The wild-looking giant looked toward Lo Feng, smiled, and nodded. Lo Feng. He said. This is the first time you and I have met. Hu Jack's creator Lo Feng replied respectfully while looking at Hu Jack's creator. The more he looked at this wild-looking giant, the more he noted the striking resemblance between Hu Jack's creator and his good friend from the past Rong Jun. Rong Jun may have been a far cry from Hugh Jack's creator, but he did carry some charismatic airs, albeit indistinctly. But they both shared the same kind of heroic spirit. Even their looks and disposition. As distinct as the differences between East and West, Hugh Jack's creator and wild man Rong Jun contrasted, but they clearly shared a similar disposition. In terms of looks and appearance, Lo Feng experienced a new feeling. The feeling of being of the same race. When Rong Jun made his first appearance in Primal Chaos City, he was not outstanding at all, thought Lo Feng. At that time, we were merely a bunch of fellows who just emerged from the War of Talents. Many universe knights paid us no heed. Just like me, now, where would I find the time to care for those young emerging fellows? At that time, even Bo Lan was not taken in as a disciple by any universe knight, on the contrary, Rong Jun was the first to be accepted as a disciple by a universe country master. When Rong Yun had been accepted as a disciple to a universe country master, many participants of the War of Talents were jealous and reluctant to accept the fact. At that time, Lo Feng had also gritted his teeth and promised himself that, even if Rong Jun did have a universe country master as teacher, he would surpass Rong Jun, somehow. Even then. Thereafter, when he did succeed in achieving outstanding results, there were still other beings like Heaven Erosion Palace Master, who were betting that Lo Feng was still not Rong Jun's match. Why are they all in favor of Rong Jun? Lo Feng muttered under his breath. It seems highly possible he is from the branch under Hugh Jack's creator. Who are the great beings under Hugh Jack's creator's branch? A great deal of information on Universe Knights came rushing back to Lo Feng's mind as he speedily recalled his memories. However, most universe knights donned armor and boots. There were not many like Rong Jun, who carried the disposition of a wild man. There were four to five of them who seemed to have such a disposition or character. Lo Feng tired hard to recall so that he could differentiate something out. He was faintly sure of it. After all, he did take a shorter time to become a great being, so he only had a few good friends like Kuang Zhu Knight. The rest of the universe knights were merely casual acquaintances. 
Chapter 1134. I've said so. Just when Lo Feng was pondering the relationship between Rong Jun and Hugh Jack's founder, Hugh Jack's founder looked around all the universe masters and smiled. We haven't seen this for a while. All the universe masters gather here today. All the 19 universe masters laughed. We're here today because we want to give Lo Feng a formal welcome. Hugh Jack's founder looked to Lo Feng. From today on, there'll be one more universe macer within the human race. Lo Feng has the clone technique, and his surviving ability is ranked top 10 in the universe. It's lucky for us humans to have him. Hua. Most of the universe masters looked to Lo Feng, and some of them transmitted their voices to discuss. Apparently, Hugh Jack's founder's assertion that Lo Feng's surviving ability was ranked in the top 10 startled them. It seems Hugh Jack's founder knows about my remote ocean body, Lo Feng thought. Whereas the universe masters from other streams haven't known about it. Otherwise, they won't be that surprised. According to the rules of us humans Hugh Jack's founder said, smiling, anyone who becomes a universe master can be bestowed a valuable as precious as a top-tier true treasure weapon by our race. Lo Feng, what do you want? Lo Feng couldn't help exclaiming. This was one of the differences between the pinnacle race and the weaker ones. Even for the Northern Territory Alliance, which was one of the top nine powers, universe masters wouldn't be bestowed valuables, as there were too many races and great beings, unless some mighty universe masters offered to join the alliance. Just name your demand, Lo Feng. Hugh Jack's founder looked to Lo Feng. All the universe masters looked to Lo Feng as well. Lo Feng turned to Hugh Jack's founder and smiled. I don't want other true treasures, but I do want my territory, the Milky Way, to be reconstructed, and I want to stay there forever. I want to stay in my home forever and make it more stable. Stay in the Milky Way forever? Said Primal Chaos City Leader. The other Universe Masters were all a bit surprised. Normally, Universe Masters would choose Secret Region like the Primal Secret Region. It was unusual for a Universe Master to be stationed in one galaxy, but Primal Chaos City Leader didn't try to hinder that, as he knew how much Lo Feng valued his home planet, especially since he had named himself Milky Way Horde Leader. Lo Feng wants to be stationed in the Milky Way forever? The other Universe Masters were all surprised. However, they didn't voice their confusion, as the Universe Masters from the Virtual Universe didn't say much. I will, of course, allow that. Hugh Jack's founder nodded. The Milky Way is only one galaxy, and one top-tier true treasure is more than enough to stabilize it. It's indeed enough, said Lo Feng. It would be costly for one universe master to be stationed in the Milky Way and to reconstruct it. Although it was not as valuable as a top-tier true treasure, it wouldn't be much different. Besides, Lo Feng had a great many true treasures with him, so he didn't need ordinary true treasures. I remember that Lo Feng wants his home planet, Earth, back said Hugh Jack's founder again. Lo Feng's eyes immediately gleamed. The other universe masters went silent and all looked to Hugh Jack's founder. Now that Lo Feng has become a universe master and is sitting with us, I should return the ownership of the earth to Lo Feng, said Hugh Jack's founder. Hugh Jack's the scaled giant with three horns suddenly said. Universe masters should make contributions and support an entire race. After being bestowed at the start, universe masters should make contributions before they gain more. True treasures need to be exchanged with true treasure points after contributions. And the same rule applies here. Milky Way Horde Leader shouldn't get anything for free, now. The other half of the ownership of Earth belongs to our race, and Milky Way Horde Leader should contribute valuables as precious as that. Yes, he should give valuables to exchange agreed some other universe masters. Lo Feng looked to that scale giant with the three horns. It was Huang Jian Master. Huang Jian Master even gave Lo Feng a head nod. Huang Jian. Primal Chaos City Leader said, the other half of ownership of Earth is under my virtual universe, and the contract was signed between my virtual universe company and Lo Feng. Although you all have offspring on Earth, those 50 billion mixed elements are paid by my virtual universe company. I can totally give it back to Lo Feng, as the other half of the ownership belongs to my virtual universe company. The Virtual Universe Company is a part of the human race, said Huang Jian Master. How can the Virtual Universe Company give out an asset like that? He should contribute before he gains. Ha ha. I bought the Earth for 50 billion mixed elements, said Primal Chaos City Leader. Lo Feng, just pay 50 billion mixed elements to buy the other half of the ownership back. 50 billion mixed elements? Was that a joke? Any treasure would be much more precious than that. To Universe Masters, 50 billion mixed elements were like a drop of water, yet the Earth was a boundless ocean. 
there was no comparison. We all know how precious the earth is, Wang Yan Master said with a frown. 50 billion mixed elements is nothing. Don't mention how you purchased it with 50 billion mixed elements. Firstly, we didn't know about the potential of Earth, and also, Lo Feng was extremely weak. 50 billion mixed elements were enough for him. Oh, Huang Yan, are you trying to interfere with the trade of my virtual universe company? Said Primal Chaos City Leader. You're not the person in charge of the virtual universe company. I am. I'm not interfering, said Huang Yan Master, but we need to have rules. If it were a personal asset of yours, you could deal with it however you want. However, it's an asset of the Virtual Universe Company, and it belongs to Teacher Origin. How can you just give away valuables of the Virtual Universe Company like that? They kept arguing. One of them was the person in charge of the Virtual Universe Company, while the other was the founder of the Universe Mercenary Alliance. Both of them were top-tier Universe Masters and held a similar status. King Dong Master and Peng Gong Master stayed silent, sitting aside. After all, they were related to the Earth. Okay, Hugh Jack's founder said. Huang Yan Master and Primal Chaos City Leader looked to Hugh Jack's founder. Hugh Jack's founder frowned. I've said so. When Lo Feng is able to sit with me, the other half of the ownership will be returned to Lo Feng. I should live up to my promise. Since the other half of the ownership of the Earth belongs to the Virtual Universe Company, I'll just give a pinnacle true treasure to the Virtual Universe to cover the loss. Hugh Jack's Hugh Jax said Huang Jian Master. Hugh Jax founder. Even Lo Feng couldn't help shouting. It's done Hugh Jax said. He glanced at all the universe masters and they went silent. The main issue was to welcome Lo Feng. They also talked about the original stars and universe ocean before the meeting was over. The universe masters of the virtual universe were dismissed. Only Lo Feng was called by Primal Chaos City Leader. Teacher, why does it end with Hugh Jack's founder transferring a pinnacle true treasure to the Virtual Universe Company? Lo Feng couldn't help asking as he felt like he owed Hugh Jack's founder. Don't overthink it. Primal Chaos City leader shook his head. Hugh Jack's founder is a universe supreme master within our human race, and he has the greatest number of true treasures. He will just give away true treasures to races. Many powerful true treasures that need to be exchanged in the races are given away by Hugh Jack's founder. It's nothing to him to give us one. After this is finished, I'll give the true treasure back to our race. Lo Feng nodded. It wasn't easy to support an entire race. The weak would be at a disadvantage if they were alone, but lone universe supreme masters could live a relaxing life. They stood among the strongest in the universe and thus were able to obtain many true treasures. However, they only needed several true treasures. Others were useless to them. On the contrary, if the Universe Supreme Masters were related to a race, they not only needed to be careful, but also needed to make continuous contributions to the race he belonged to. I understand. Lo Feng nodded. He knew that he needed to return the favor from Hugh Jack's founder. Don't blame Huang Yan Master for trying to obstruct that, said Primal Chaos City Leader. It's all about interest. Look at other Universe Masters. Did you wonder why others didn't say anything? because it's related to the interests of the other four streams as well. Huang Yan Master was basically speaking for them. Almost every issue in the universe has to do with interests, either individual or relating to race. Lo Feng nodded. By the way. Primal Chaos City Leader looked at Lo Feng. Do you really plan to stay in the Milky Way galaxy forever? Yes. Lo Feng nodded. Forever. Universe masters in the human race are usually stationed in the important places in the human territory, said Primal Chaos City Leader. For one thing, there are plenty of universe knights, undying fighters, and talents who need protection from the supreme beings, and for another, there are several universe masters in the important places. They can help each other out if there's a catastrophe. If there's only one of you staying in the Milky Way, other great beings will need to spend some time to get there if other races attack it. Of course, some universe masters choose to have one of their bodies to guard their homes. You're not changing your mind? Lo Feng smiled and said, no. I'll guard the Milky Way forever. He had fought for such a long time and even risked his own life, for what? To stand at the top of the universe and protect his home. Chapter 1135. Lo Feng's Order. Hong. 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 There were volcanoes in the god country and burning magma burst out of the volcanoes. It was a country of magma. Every moment, there was magma bursting out of the volcanoes. At the center of the god country was a towering godly palace surrounded by endless flames, and there was a sculpture in front of the godly palace. It was a sculpture of Molo. Shua. 
a being showed up in front of the godly palace. It was Molo. Molo was one of the talents in the Virtual Universe Company and had become undying 30,000 years ago. Although he was only an official level undying, he was a pinnacle official level undying known as Wild Beast Official. After being beaten by Lo Feng, he had been craving to surpass Lo Feng. Unfortunately, not only did he not surpass Lo Feng, but he was now overpowered by Bo Lan and Rong Jun, both of whom were Emperor level undying now. Although he was slightly inferior to Bo Lan and Rong Jun, he still demonstrated great potential, which was why he became a disciple of South Fox Country Master. Standing in the sky, Molo became startled. Someone's here. It was his god country. How could others enter his god country? Hong. Three towering beings showed up in a corner of the god country, and they teleported themselves to in front of Molo. Molo took a look at the three beings and felt relieved. He walked up and said, Greetings, teacher. South Fox Country Master looked at him with pity. South Fox Country Master looked to the two universe masters beside him and nodded. Ganwu, North Larva. Ganwu Country Master gazed at Molo coldly and shouted, Molo, are you aware of your crimes? Crimes? Lo Feng was terrified. He couldn't help looking to his teacher, South Fox Country Master, who looked gloomy. This told him something was wrong. I've been following the rules consistently he said, and I haven't done anything against the laws. I don't know what crimes I've committed. The universe knight in white, emanating sense of indifference, smirked. South Fox he said, your disciple still dares to quibble. Not quibbling. Molo said anxiously. Please give me the evidence that I've committed crimes, teacher. He looked to his teacher ardently. You still don't know your crimes? South Fox Country Master shook his head. This is an order from Milky Way Horde Leader. If you admit your crimes, you'll be sent to the first star domain prison for 10,000 eras. If you don't, you'll be executed. Molo shook his body and looked petrified. Executed? I've committed crimes. I admit it. Molo yelled. Teacher, I admit it. You two universe knights, I admit it. What crimes? North Larva Knight asked. Ganwu Country Master stared at Molo coldly. What crimes? Said Molo. I don't really know. Molo was apprehensive. He started to think quickly, his mind operated faster than it ever had in his life. He had been born an orphan, and after all the life or death experiences, he had formed a mature way of living. He would kill all those who posted a threat to him. And he wouldn't leave any traces. Now that these seniors from the Virtual Universe Company were here to question him, all the incidents flooded his mind. He had done many cruel things, but, theoretically, he had left no trace of his actions. There were some beings who knew what he had done, but no one had evidence. Milky Way Horde Leader's Order? Thought Molo. Who is this Milky Way Horde Leader? Milky Way. A name came to Molo's mind. Lo Feng. Lo Feng's home planet is Earth in the Milky Way. Could he be Milky Way Horde Leader? Molo was undying, but he was so scared that he was sweating. He'd been following Lo Feng's process and had been terrified when he'd learned that Lo Feng had become a disciple of Primal Chaos City Leader. He was certain that if Lo Feng divulged his actions to Primal Chaos City Leader, he would be doomed. However, Molo had also done his research. He knew Primal Chaos City Leader was famously fair. He won't prosecute me without evidence, thought Molo. Initially, he had been scared, but he'd stopped being worried because Lo Feng hadn't revealed anything, even after all this time. As for Lo Feng's record on the original stars, undying fighters were not qualified to know about the original stars. Only universe masters, universe knights, and incredibly powerful, invincible emperors were qualified to know the truth about Lo Feng. Molo had no idea what had happened. He didn't know about Lo Feng hunting on the original stars. Neither did he know that Lo Feng had killed more than 6,000 universe knights in one move. Lo Feng wants me dead? Molo raised his head and looked at the three universe knights. North Larva Knight and Ganwu Country Master gazed at him coldly, while South Fox Country Master kept shaking his head. It is him. Molo looked at South Fox Country Master. Teacher, even you don't believe me? I didn't do anything. I adventured on Demon Note Mountain before, and we've had a feud since then because of valuables. I can't believe he still holds such a grudge against me after all these years. Teacher, please, be fair. Show justice. North Larva Knight smirked. You're still quibbling. Interesting, said Ganwu Country Master and shook his head. It doesn't matter anymore. South Fox Country Master sighed. Molo, I know that you're decisive, but I can't believe you're so ruthless. Teacher, I'm being framed, said Molo. He didn't dare to admit it. 
He would be executed if he admitted it. Teacher. Molo clenched his teeth. Tears welled in his eyes and rolled down his face. I'm being framed. Even if Lo Feng has become a universe knight, how can you allege that I'm guilty just because of what he said? I can only die to prove that I'm innocent. Weng. Strong godly power restrained every trace of Molo's godly power. He wasn't even able to self-destruct under such suppression. Molo couldn't help staring at Ganwu Country Master. Ganwu Senior, you. Molo knew about resurrection and was certain he would be revived if he acted indignantly. However, Ganwu Country Master didn't even give him a chance to self-destruct himself. Don't even try Ganwu Country Master said. We're here to deal with you under the orders of Milky Way Horde leader. You'll be executed now, as you didn't admit to your crimes. Molo's eyes glinted with madness. Milky Way Horde leader? Who is this Milky Way Horde leader? Molo yelled hoarsely. The Mr. Lo Feng you were talking about, said North Larva Knight. Lo Feng? Not possible. He just became a universe knight. How long has he been training himself? 100,000 years? How can he command you as only a universe knight? Molo shook his head, unwilling to believe it. I know that I'll die, but please tell me who wants me dead. Ganwu Country Master gazed at Mo Lo. It's Mr. Lo Feng. Lo Feng has become a universe master. He's a pinnacle being in our human race. A universe master? Mo Lo opened his eyes wide. Lo Feng? A universe master? The same Lo Feng who had been kicked into the abyss had become a universe master? Milky Way Horde leader is a universe master, said Ganwu Country Master. How can he frame you? His word is much more adequate than any evidence. You're indeed reckless. You dared to go against the orders of the Virtual Universe Company. No. I didn't. Molo yelled. I don't believe Lo Feng has become a universe master. Not possible. Peng. Like the ground being cracked, Molo's godly body started to crumble. It turned into dust, vanishing into thin air. All of a sudden, his god country, which was lively with magma bursting out of volcanoes a moment before, went dead. The volcanoes stopped erupting. And all the volcanoes went dead, and the god country started to turn cold. If Molo could be resurrected, his god country could come back to life. Unfortunately, Molo would never be revived. Let's go. Ganwu Country Master, North Larva Knight, and South Fox Country Master teleported themselves out of the dying god country. Earth, just as Molo was executed. The foreigners living in the floating cities all roared. We must all migrate? Who gave the order? I sold the territory of an entire solar system to get the residential right to live on Earth for 1,000 years. Who's going to compensate me? Not possible. You're trying to expel us? I'll report it back to my family and make you all regret it. After the power of Earth was discovered, residency rights on Earth became incredibly expensive. Only those with solid connections in the five powers could enter. Besides, they all went to Earth to give birth to their children, and after their children were born, they would leave Earth in no time. Those were all beings with powerful families in the human territory, and they had paid a huge price to come to Earth. But now, they were all going to be expelled? Virtual Universe Company, Huge Axe Dojo, Universe Mercenary Alliance, Universe First Bank, and Universe Star River Bank gave an order at the same time. Leave the Earth in three days. Otherwise, die. Those beings with powerful families were nothing in front of a Universe Master. All they could do was reluctantly leave Earth. When the enforcement team expelled all the migrants, the pantheon in the solar system also disappeared. From now on, this would be the place where Milky Way Horde leader guarded forever. And mass construction began in the Milky Way. Earth. The black-haired man stood in the solar system, looking at the blue planet. He smiled, stepped into the atmosphere of Earth, and dived. Chapter 1136. Earth Branch. 100,000 years later, what would Earth be like? Long grass would be all about. Amidst all the greenery that embellished the surroundings, there were numerous residential buildings of unique structures. Birds were often seen flying in the sky, which was a deep azure blue. The air would be fresh, and if the standards of human domain were to be applied, then Earth would be categorized as a top-tier SSS-grade life planet of the highest standard. Nature and technology would have achieved perfect harmony. There would be many people, men and women alike, walking along the streets, dressed either in their training gear or just casual clothes. There would not be any public transportation like cars on the roads, and the underground tunnels that connected Earth to the various cities around would be advancing at a speed of 18,000 miles, a speed that allowed the people to arrive at other cities with much ease. 
of course, allowing several large continents to stretch across the seabed to form tunnels would also be possible because of Lo Feng's authority. Earth would be entirely different Lo Feng gasped in admiration. Zhu Xin smiled and replied, it will be even more different in the future. They walked along the street as a couple, looking just like any other ordinary husband and wife. The other people could not tell the difference at all. Actually, even if one had seen Lo Feng, their memories of him would vanish immediately in the blink of an eye. There was no way they could remember anything about him. Lo Feng observed everything around him carefully. Earlier on, he had sent remote ocean body to garrison Earth. Yet remote ocean body merely sat cross-legged in silence, in a quiet room deep within the Lo's family house. He would only make an appearance if a crucial situation occurred. Except for the other two times when Lo Feng had to accompany his family, remote ocean body did not make any move at all. Zhu Xin, I realized that star traveler levels are frequently seen here, said Lo Feng. I saw many along the way. He could not hold it back longer, so he asked, are star traveler levels that common? Over 10,000 years, Earth would not have been able to develop so fast where the majority were star traveler levels. Zhu Xin shook her head. Oh well. The mysteries of Earth are top secrets, though they were never disclosed. However, large families of the top five powers like the Virtual Universe Company, the Huge Axe Dojo, and the Universe Mercenary Alliance were all finding ways to enter Earth. You should have figured this out by now. The right to reside on Earth is in hot demand now. Lo Feng nodded. Previously, immigrants of the Earth's ocean would be aliens, while those on land would be us Earthlings Zhu Xin said, over 10,000 years of development, Earthlings are now scattered all over the Ganwa universe. And even in other universes. The numbers are immeasurable. Lo Feng smiled and nodded. In the past, the Earthling population has never been able to achieve a breakthrough. That was because there was a limitation of land. With the limitation lifted, there was a large quantity of grains as provisions. If there was a rapid multiplication of earthling population thereafter, it would be understandable. Hm said Zhu Xin said. Just like that, the earthling population has multiplied to such a massive number that it might be incomparable. Putting others aside, just the number of people in our Lo family is intimidating enough. Lo Feng nodded. The population in Lo family had long exceeded the size of one starfield. No matter how development progressed, to increase the population size by 100 million times in 5,000 years was normal, but for a development that had progressed for more than 100,000 years. The population size would be so massive that it sounded exaggerated. Regardless of how much power the Lo family had, their massive size would still go under the influence of territorial limitations, therefore many members of the Lo family had to settle down on other planets or even in other universes. If the massive Lo family would face such a situation, what would the overall situation on Earth look like? At the Earth Management Association level, making use of the virtual universe would still be impossible to create identification records of every Earthling. After all, in the vast universe, if unfortunate events like air crashes happen and Earthlings were caught and enslaved by mineral planets, in a place where the population was so immense that it was impossible to keep track, the Earth Management Association would not be able to cover everything or everyone, comprehensively. The population is too big, Zushin said. Now we have to authenticate all the Earthlings' identities. Firstly, identity registration. More than 99% have been documented. Secondly, gene authentication. The Earthling branch of the family has a unique kind of gene that is very different from the other races among humanity. On Earth, land domain must be occupied by Earthling residents. If it were occupied by the other races, no matter how powerful or wealthy they were, they would not be granted the right of abode. Time passed. And the right to reside on Earth is in hot demand now. There are some residents on Earth who yearn for a more luxurious life. Therefore, they sold off their rights of abode and left Earth for another life planet. Maybe this was how some became planet horde leaders. Because the right to reside on the land on Earth can only be traded between Earthlings, the price was not as exaggerated as the value that alien immigrants had set. But it was nonetheless extremely high. Wanting to become a planet horde leader, wanting a life with illimitable luxuries, or wanting to become a great being with the ability to purchase great quantities of resources. The bottom line is, the right to reside on land on Earth is continually being traded, as there are some Earth elites with status and power who were continually entering Earth there will be changes from generation to generation. Those who are able to enter Earth are all the cream of the crop. They have roamed the universe and established their business empires, or have become great fighters or great spirit readers. 
therefore, more than half of our elites from the trillions of people of our entire Earth branch are gathered here on Earth. Zushin smiled. Which was why, on Earth, star traveler levels are frequently seen, even star levels to universe levels can often be seen. There are also quite a few undying beings living here on Earth. Lo Feng sighed and nodded. The undying spirit. It was true that with enough cultivation, the chances of becoming a great being would increase. Now, the Earthling branch had a total of 11 undying spirits, including Lo Feng, Hong, and Thunder God. Five were staying on Earth. The number of sector lords was even bigger. With such might and power, it was no wonder universe masters of the five major factions of humanity thought so highly of Earth. The right of a boat on Earth's land can be freely traded as one pleases? Lo Feng asked. So long as it is a transaction between an Earthling and Earth, free trading is the best option Zhu Xin shook her head. One end is willing to buy, and the other end is willing to sell. Who can stop them? This would help our Earth branch's holy ground to continue rising up the ranks. After all, this is where over half the elites from the Earth branch are gathered. But Earthlings of high status and with strong powers would all want their future generations to get stronger, even if those Earthlings were already used to living on other planets. But for their younger generations, they would purchase the right of a boat on Earth and send two to three family members over to stay here on Earth. It can also be said this way. Earth is where more than 50% of elites of the Earthling branch are gathered, out of the first million Earth elites, 99% of them hold the right of a boat on Earth. Lo Feng nodded. This was good, too. The longer they took, the higher the status of the holy ground, Earth would be. It had only been over 100,000 years of developing since the Earthling branch became a universe. There were many aspects of it that were yet to be considered extremely powerful, like the number of great beings, the power of its associations, and many more. As time passed, elites of this branch would gradually emerge into prominence. According to what the higher-ups of humanity calculated, the Earthling branch's continual development would be comparable to at least 10% of humanity. How many undying spirits would that be? How many universe knights? Clearly, the potential of the Earthling branch had just emerged and had yet to be fully unleashed. This unleashing of potential would need enough time. The greatest difficulty now is that the outstanding youths of our Earthling branch are unable to receive the best cultivation they could, get Zushin said. Based on the data we retrieved from the alien immigrants, once a wife gets pregnant, she should enter Earth within the first three months of pregnancy. If the entire process from the gestation period of the fetus to the day the baby is born happens under the influence of Earth's environment, then there is bound to be a transformation. Therefore, it is crucial to rush to Earth during the first three months of pregnancy. Any later than that, and the effect will be very different. Our Earth Management Association manages a large number of Earthling youths, cultivating them with great care, then singling out the cream of the crop for deeper cultivation. We have wealth. But teaching them required a great deal of resources, for instance, a good teacher, and a conducive environment for them to train in. Our family alone is insufficient. What we have come up with so far is nothing compared to the cultivation mechanism of the Ganwa universe. This has, to a certain degree, affected the rising of the Earthling branch. Lo Feng nodded and considered for a while. I will make arrangements as quickly as I can he Lo Feng. Cultivation was very important. Like Lo Feng, Hong, and Thunder God, if they had not stepped off Earth and advanced into the universe. If Lo Feng had not received Yun Mo Star Master's treasure and Babata's guidance, then naturally Golden Horned Beast would be gloriously sacrificed. The three of them would obviously be greatly limited, and the chances of attaining the universe level would also have been very low. Yet the moment they received cultivation, all three each displayed a dazzling light and were completely different right away. And if the Earthling branch wanted to rise up to recognition, cultivating the new and younger generations was obviously crucial. The mechanism that other universe masters used to cultivate their younger generations is highly matured, said Lo Feng. I shall take some reference from them and then make use of my own resources to establish my own mechanism. That should do. Lo Feng nodded to himself. Humanity has many places for cultivating their kind. The only problem is that even Universe Knights are not qualified to arrange for a large batch of members to undergo training simultaneously. But a Universe Master could. For instance, sending their family members to Blood River World or some other places. Of course, Lo Feng also needed to pay a small price for it, but to him, it was a piece of cake. After the alien immigrants' major move out of Earth, Earth started to undergo transformation once again. 
Making use of marine resources, re-coordinating ocean and land, the natural order was enhanced to nearing perfection. Also, some restructuring was done to the numerous floating cities that were once occupied by alien immigrants to make them more suited for earthlings to live in. The floating cities were normally a few hundred stories to 1,000 stories high. If residing on land was said to be done using one or two stories of land, then on a floating city of an alien immigrant, it would be considered a highly effective use of space. Adding up the surface area of the vast oceans, the total would come to a much greater amount compared to that of land. Although the distance between floating cities was vast, when all the floating cities suspended in the skies above the vast oceans like the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, and the Indian Ocean were put together, the amount of space could accommodate a few hundred billion people. This will be able to accommodate a few hundred billion of people. We can then allow many young earthling mothers to be to quickly enter Earth. We should also try our best to get them to arrive here on Earth within the first three months of pregnancy. Earthlings who were born on Earth. Their cult of ability is much stronger. On the other hand, for earthlings born on extraterrestrial planets, the chances of producing great beings are worrying because they are much too low. Various plans were speedily formulated. Then, one by one, they were implemented. The first thing Lo Feng did when he returned to Earth was to make use of his power to start boosting the development of the Earth branch. He made a perfect combination out of his resources and the race's resources, which then sped up the rate of development of the Earthling branch tremendously. He believed that soon, it would not be wishful thinking for the Earthling branch to want to be stronger than the Yan Shen race branch. If the Earthling branch can have some universe knights and a large number of undying spirits, and go on to see the emergence of a universe master, that would be even greater. Lo Feng secretly looked forward to this. However, it would require a long time. Chapter 1137. Second Form of Shi Wu Wings. There were several beasts on the farms where weeds were growing. Many varieties of broken cars sat abandoned and ruined on the highway. Some of them were tipped over, and the dust on the highway told its history. A shadow walked on the highway. Reserve? Lo Feng walked on the shabby highway, recalling the past a long time ago, when he first joined the Fire Hammer Squad and adventured in the wilderness. He remembered Chen Gu who used fiery weapons who was very friendly to him. He remembered Zhang Qi, who lost his arm. The Wei brothers, who were skilled with a scimitar. And of course, that Captain Gao who was powerful with hammers. It's been more than 100,000 years. Lo Feng shook his head and smiled. Those were the brothers who had endured troubles with him before. However, Lo Feng had been adventuring through the universe, and he didn't even have time to see his family members. As for those old friends, he had only seen them a few times. Lo's family had been secretly helping those old friends without affecting their lives. Time was cruel, however, and more than half of Lo Feng's friends had died. Although Lo Feng's family had infinite wealth, it still had control over resources. The family would help their old friends, but they wouldn't improve their friend's power to at universe level or domain lord level. There were still many reserves on Earth, which were remains from the era of Headquarter City. Some of the beasts were protected as endangered animals. Those animals were allowed to live in the reserves, on the cracked highways, in rolled over cars. Ruined buildings in the reserves were renovated. New material was applied, material that could last for a long time. The surface was deliberately made to look ancient, after all, the concrete used before was not likely to be maintained. Tourists had to view them from spaceships in the sky. The areas could not be trespassed, and the beasts inside were off limits. As for Lo Feng, he went in via teleportation. He had the highest access authority to the entire defense system of Earth, so he could get in without any problem. Su. Lo Feng jumped up to the balcony on the sixth floor. He looked down. He could hear faint, beastly roars as he looked at the moon. Just like before whispered Lo Feng. He frowned. Ha. Huh. Shua. He disappeared from the balcony. In a sky around 800 light years away from Earth was a group of towering, resplendent palaces. Powerful guards walked within the palaces. Sector Lord guards and even undying servants were walking through corridors that were tens of millions of miles long. These were Lo Feng's godly palaces. Inside the tallest main palace, fires burned around twelve gigantic pillars. Suddenly, a giant being showed up on the throne. It was Lo Feng's six thousand mile tall body. He looked down at the three beings. Three beings bowed at the same time. Milky Way Horde Leader. Ganwu, Kuang Zhu, North Larva. Lo Feng smiled and looked down. You've done a great job. All of them had dealt with the issues he had asked them to do, and they had finished today. 
Of course, he needed to meet with the three of them. There was much more he needed these three universe knights to help him with. It's our honor to serve Horde leader, said Kuang Zhu as he raised his head, followed by Ganwu Country Master and North Larva Knight. Lo Feng smiled and nodded. From now on, you'll be in charge of everything here. You can connect to the virtual universe if you need me, or you can crush your keepsake. Yes. Three universe knights bowed. Lo Feng nodded and said, you may go now. The three universe knights bowed and left the palace. Lo Feng was 6,000 miles tall. He put his hands on the armrests and raised his head to look at the towering godly palace six million miles tall. Even for Lo Feng, the godly palace felt like an endless sky. The godly palaces are also large, whispered Lo Feng. Okay. I've been studying the second level of Star Tower. However, I still haven't fully completed the second level of Shi Wu Wings, which is inferior to Star Tower. I'll spend my time on Earth studying the Shi Wu Wings. Lo Feng disappeared. He could arrive at Earth within one teleportation, as Earth was less than 1,000 light years away from his godly palaces. As for the three universe knights, undying guards, and sector lord guards and servants. They had been arranged by the virtual universe company. Generally, a universe master would select some universe knights as their disciples. There were only a few universe masters within the human race, most of whom were reluctant to take disciples, so most universe knights could be disciples of universe masters. Primal Chaos City leader wanted Lo Feng to take disciples. Lo Feng, however, not only needed to train himself, but also hadn't reached the universe master level at law comprehension. That was why he hadn't taken any disciples. Instead, he had chosen three universe knights to deal with his issues. Those universe knights who worked for Lo Feng directly had Lo Feng as a connection now. Those with connections were on a totally different level than those who didn't have them. Lo Feng firstly chose Ganwu Country Master and Kuang Zhu Knight, who were close to him. Then Ganwu Country Master had recommended North Larva Knight, who was his friend. Thus, these three universe knights were under Lo Feng, now. Ganwu Country Master would never find himself in an embarrassing situation with Lo Feng as his connection. Ganwu, I can go to Horde Leader only because of you. Said North Larva Knight. I can't even repay you. North Larva, we're best friends said Ganwu Country Master, and you've helped me lots of times. This is nothing. Ganwu Country Master, Kuang Zhu Knight, and North Larva Knight, had turned the tables around now. Having connections set them apart. They were bestowed with one ordinary true treasure each when Lo Feng admitted them. It was enough to make other universe knights jealous. Lo Feng made a portal connecting his god country with Earth. He was able to quickly go back to his god country from Earth and to arrive back at Earth from his god country. With that path, even space shock. Twelve years passed. Ha ha. Shi Wu Wing is more complicated than I thought, said Lo Feng. I've spent twelve years and I've finally fully comprehended the second form. Shua. Lo Feng teleported from his palace to a silent sky hundreds of light years away. He didn't dare try the second form of the Shi Wu wings while on Earth. With his power, a slight trace of his Shi Wu wings could dismantle Earth. Lo Feng stood in space, his eyes gleaming. Let me see the power of the second form of Shi Wu wings. The four winged Shi Wu wings were a top tier true treasure. The first form of the four winged Shi Wu wings was more powerful than the second form of the two winged Shi Wu wings. And the second form of the fourth wing should be more powerful than the third form of the two winged version. The first form was called Space and Time in Disorder. But what about the second form? Kai. 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 Endless burning power flooded Shi Wu wings along the engraving sculptures, and the power triggered all the sculptures. Instantly, the second level of sculptures on Shi Wu wings were completely utilized, and the silver wing immediately started to change. The wing became sharper, and golden threads appeared on it. An elegant but powerful force permeated from it. It made Shi Wu wings stronger than ordinary top-tier true treasures. Hong. The sky was enveloped in golden light. Lo Feng stood in the sky in silence. No matter how powerful the second form of Shi Wu wings was, Lo Feng wouldn't be overly surprised. Rather, the function of Shi Wu wings was what thrilled him. This, this. Lo Feng looked around. There is a star-level strange beast on a planet 1.2 light years away. He looked in another direction. And there is a construction team 2.9 light years away from me, reconstructing that planet. There's a spaceship 3.8 light years away from me. There's Sector Lord team on patrol 19.6 light years away from me. The 80 square light year area was entirely enveloped by the blurry golden light. 
This area was completely under Lo Feng's control, and he knew everything that was happening within the area. How? How come? The more Lo Feng sensed everything around him, the more thrilled he got. Even universe masters aren't able to control such a giant area. Suppression. Lo Feng triggered the wing, and the constraining power on the space surged. All the spaceships in this area immediately slowed down. Some stars started to tremble. If Lo Feng didn't control his power intentionally, those stars would have been annihilated. Suppression. Lo Feng pointed to a star in the distance. Hung. The star, its three planets, and all the many asteroids held within its gravity, were all annihilated under power that could kill a universe night. A whole solar system vanished from existence just like that. So powerful. Lo Feng put all the suppression on himself. He could feel the incredible constraining power. It's stronger than that of universe masters. Lo Feng felt constraint akin to a universe master's control over space and time. He could tell clearly that his control over the area of 80 square light years was more powerful than that of Universe Masters, but, of course, it was still inferior to that of Universe Supreme Masters. It's more powerful than that of Universe Masters. My Shi Wu Wings. Lo Feng was overjoyed. The first form can throw time and space into disorder, and the second form can fully control space and time. The control is stronger than that of Universe Masters, and so is the range. Lo Feng narrowed the golden light. I can control the size. Impressive. He smiled. From now on, I'll have the ability to control space and time. Who will doubt that I'm a universe master? Ha ha. It was within his expectations to discover that the second form had such a function, but it was an exhilarating surprise. I'll name the second form of Shi Wu Wings. Whispered Lo Feng, who was covered with golden light, golden country. Chapter 1138. The Golden Toad. Form 1 of Shi Wu Wings. Chaotic Time Space. Form 2 of Shi Wu Wings. Golden Kingdom, considered an auxiliary power but very much to Lo Feng's liking. After all, the greatest difference between a universe master and him would be the ability to control time and space. For instance, hunting and fighting used to be disadvantageous for him, but that weak spot had now been remedied. A radius of 80 light years Lo Feng said. Even a top-tier domain type true treasure like Thousand Treasure River was not as ridiculously immense. If the second form was already so strong, I cannot imagine the third form. Lo Feng started to examine the entire Shi Wu wings with his godly power, covering every inch of the wings. There were some sculptures with secret engravings that appeared in his mind 1000 times clearer than what the naked eye could see. Lo Feng took one look and immediately felt some disappointment. He understood that for the moment, this was the maximum power of Shi Wu wings, or at least, the third form of secret engravings of this deformed Shi Wu wings was originally imperfect. Clearly, Shi Wu wings still lack certain components. At least, that was the case for the sculptures of secret engravings, where a part of the engravings is missing. No matter how powerful I am, it is impossible for me to activate the third form. To activate the third form, I must fulfill two requirements. Firstly, law comprehension acquired by oneself to attain a higher level of accomplishment in the studies of secret engravings, secondly, finding the missing component of Shi Wu wings to bring it nearer to perfection. After just one fusion, Shi Wu wings had reached the level of a top-tier true treasure. If another fusion were to. Shi Wu wings are indeed extraordinary, but I have no idea where I can find that missing component Lo Feng lamented. He knew it would not be easy. Shi Wu Wings had belonged to Primal Chaos City Leader for a long time, yet even Primal Chaos City Leader was not able to discover any other components. However, he had not made use of Shi Wu Wings personally, so he would not have known. Lo Feng did use them, though. In addition, as countless great beings of the universe were gathered in the original star, Lo Feng managed to sense Tianyang Knight by chance encounter, which was how he learned about the other component of Shi Wu Wings, Flowing Light Wings. Yet, through these years, as Lo Feng went into the original stars time and time again, he did not sense anything else that was new to him. Wanting to find the next component, the level of difficulty was palpable. Yet this feels strange, too. The birth of Shi Wu wings did not take place on an original star. If it did, then the original star would clearly indicate the level of this treasure. The treasure would have been divided into several components, and its birth would have taken place according to the divided pieces. What everyone has obtained would only be components, but all would understand how precious each component was. Tianyang Knight and Teacher, each received one wing, yet they did not see the greatness of this true treasure component. 
When teacher first gave me his share, he said with surety that throughout the universe, he was the only one who had laid eyes on Shi Wu Wings. No second being had ever seen Shi Wu Wings before. Lo Feng said to himself. I have to ask teacher about it again. I need to find out where exactly he found Shi Wu Wings. Lo Feng decided that he had to find the other components of Shi Wu Wings. If the power of the second form was this powerful, what would the power of the third form be like? Lo Feng was really looking forward to finding his answer. Time to head back. Chua. Lo Feng disappeared into the sky, which was still as quiet as ever. The only problem was, at a distance away, a galaxy was missing. The years of a great being were always so long that they felt like an eternity. The majority of the time passed by peacefully. This peace, however, was spent preparing for future fights, which always seemed crazier than the preceding ones. The fights could be for their race, for power, or for oneself. I can't believe that the Disambiguation Temple is still not open by now. Lo Feng had been looking forward to the opening of the Disambiguation Temple. After all, it was a pinnacle domain type true treasure. Only Star Tower could surpass it. The other treasures were lacking in comparison, Force Armor and Combat Blade Absolute Guest were all weaker by a notch. It was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to obtain such a true treasure. Naturally, it evoked an overwhelming sense of competitiveness in Lo Feng. At that time, Lo Feng was also cultivating the Beast God Path, which required him to study diagrams of secret engravings. So temporarily, he would be giving up on studying Star Tower, as the third level of secret engravings of were shockingly complicated. This was clearly of a far higher level than all that he had studied previously. Only those who were more accomplished in the law comprehension and diagrams of secret engravings would be able to comprehend it. It was 165 years since Lo Feng first became Milky Way Horde leader. Within the ancestral god secret region, in an area on Redbit Island that was being enshrouded by the five-color Aurora Lake, Lo Feng stood by the railings of a pavilion and looked off into the distance, where he could see the public square in front of the palace of the island master. In the blink of an eye, Shua. He arrived at the fountain resembling a curtain, and strode through it to enter the land of inheritance. A moment later, he stepped out from behind the fountain. I already know how to use the ultimate technique of a universe master, and I have the heart of beast god, he thought. Cultivating the beast god path can be done at godlike speed. Also, I was fortunate that there is the land of inheritance, where I could always inherit, allowing my efficiency to be maximized. Lo Feng was clear on the fact that every time he entered the land of inheritance, a large amount of energy would be consumed. That was why the land of inheritance had very stringent control over the number of times one could enter. Usually, only those who newly joined were entitled to one free inheritance. Other times, everyone had to exchange for the chance to enter and inherit from the land of inheritance. Most of the other heirs could only make an exchange once in a blue moon. However, there was a year when Lo Feng had gone crazy engaging himself in various battles, to the extent of fighting 620,000 battles. This had earned him many glory points, which could be used to exchange for many chances of entry. Usually, one would need to have acquired a new comprehension before another round of inheritance, so the sessions of energy-consuming inheritances were limited to a certain number. Lo Feng. A capacious voice rang by Lo Feng's ears and resonated in his mind. Huh. Standing by the waterfall, Lo Feng turned to look high up into the sky. Hua. A light emerged from the depths of five-color Aurora Lake that enveloped all that was beneath it. It moved to completely enshroud Lo Feng. One end of this light pillar kept Lo Feng enveloped. Looking carefully at the other end, Lo Feng saw that it was extended deep within the five-color Aurora Lake, all the way to the Ancestral God Palace. Ancestral God Palace? Lo Feng looked up and saw the colorful light separating on their own, to create a path for the light pillar to pass. Ancestral God Lo Feng greeted. He recognized this voice. It was the voice of Double Face Ancestral God. Come to me the voice said. Instantly, an intangible power enveloped Lo Feng. Su. The force brought Lo Feng up off Red Island and sent him on his way along the path of the light. Lo Feng went flying into the depths of Five Color Aurora Lake in the direction of the Ancestral God Palace. At this point, Lo Feng's speed far exceeded the speed of light. Being able to reach such a speed in the primal universe was on thing. Obviously, only a universe supreme being was capable of such manipulation. Lo Feng did not fight this force. Given his power, he could have easily broken free from such restraint. Flying ahead, he could see the 3,000 stars, which represented 3,000 god worlds. 
he could also see the 72 general continents, where every continent was vast and imposing. Then he flew past Beast God Palace and the Eight Natural Beasts God Palace. Surrounding this were 16 other palaces. Arrived. Lo Feng landed on the massive, towering public square of the palace. Looking at this ancestral god palace from Redbud Island, the place had seemed immense and towering. Being on it, Lo Feng gained a true appreciation for how intimidating its size was. The entire palace exuded an endless, immensely strong power. This was an eye-opener even for someone like Lo Feng, who had laid eyes on various true treasures. This ancestral god palace must be a pinnacle flying palace true treasure. Lo Feng speculated. No other like the ancestral god school. Even if humankind's teacher origin had yet to be suppressed, he would barely be comparable to this ancestral god school. Lo Feng, come in. The voice was heard from within the large palace hall. Outside the hall, there were eight guards clad in gold armor. They were all universe knights, and from the power exuded by the treasures they carried on them, their armor and weapons were true treasures. At this moment, all eight knights were looking directly at Lo Feng. Yes, Lo Feng answered. He took a step forward and was instantly at the doorstep of the palace, where he made his way into the spacious hall. In the towering hall were many tall heavenly pillars that seemed never-ending, on every heavenly pillar was a totem engraving where the appearance of every race was engraved. There were sculptures with engravings of humans, bug soldiers, the automaton race. And there were also engravings of many other different races. Double-face ancestral god sat on his throne, the furthest one away. He looked toward Lo Feng and, with a smile, he asked, according to the information that your fellow humans have openly disseminated, you have fixed your chosen name as. Milky Way Horde Leader? Yes. Lo Feng nodded. Milky Way Horde Leader Lo Feng, you have been with the Ancestral God School for some time, and also joined our sub-organization Ancestral God said. You may be Milky Way Horde Leader now, but the Noble Universe Origin has told me that. You have yet to become a Universe Master. You are able to make use of the ultimate technique of a universe master because you had an ability of another school of study, which had appeared in the primal universe for the first time. Lo Feng was secretly taken aback. The ancestral god school openly made it known that they were the guardians of the universe origin. Even Primal Chaos City Leader and Company said that the universe origin was also reciprocating and guarding over the ancestral god school. Previously, he had always managed to receive inheritances one after the other. Plus, he had created a technique with the help of another school of study. It seemed the rumors of the relationship between the ancestral god school and universe origin were not unfounded. Both sides knew everything about one another. The day you truly become a universe master will be the day you become our guarding godly master ancestral god said, looking at Lo Feng. Then he continued, don't overanalyze. Every guarding godly master of the ancestral god school is a universe master with extremely strong power. Ordinary universe masters will not be able to take up such a role. Every guarding godly master will have a few universe masters under his command. Lo Feng nodded. He already knew. Sky Beacon Godly Master, Nine Remoteness Godly Master. They were legendary existences in the universe. His current capability was certainly not enough for him to become a guarding godly master and to stand at equal rank as the rest. You joined the sub-organization of our ancestral god school such a long time ago, but have yet to receive a single mission. Ancestral god looked at Lo Feng. Now, I am entrusting you with one. It does not implicate humanity, and the venue is very far away from the human domain. Are you willing to take up the mission? If it does not implicate humanity and my good friends, I would be happy to oblige Lo Feng said. He had accepted numerous inheritances and received much kindness from ancestral god. Earlier on, Ancestral God had even stepped forward personally to protect him from virtual real demon master. It was only right to reciprocate with his services. Hua. A golden ray flashed and stopped right before Lo Feng. It resembled a statue of a golden toad, and the eyes of the toad were dark gray. Take this with you and head over to this domain. Any life form that causes its eyes to turn red must be annihilated. Ancestral God looked down at Lo Feng. And you will also need to investigate what actually happened. The universe origin has communicated with me over there. Something is happening that bodes ill for our primal universe. Lo Feng took hold of the golden toad and looked at its pair of eyes. They would turn red? Ancestral god, when its eyes turn red, does it represent how far away the life form is that is causing the eyes to turn red? Lo Feng asked. How big is its area of surveillance? About 60 million miles ancestral god said where your life imprint is. 
control it, and you can clearly sense whether the reaction you have detected is caused by an actual life form or a foreign object. If it's an actual life form, no matter who it is, you must annihilate it. If you are unwilling to kill with your own hands, transmit your findings to me, and I shall deploy some other members. This is a new transmission token. The previous one that Nine Remoteness gave you carried a lower authority. You will not be able to connect with me directly using that. With this one, you can. A golden token drifted over to Lo Feng. He caught hold of it right away. Why did this golden token look so much like the transmission token that his teacher, sitting mountain guest, had made? Go Ancestral got ordered. For the sake of the noble universe origin, every life form that makes it see red has to be annihilated. Not even one can be spared. Understood. Lo Feng bowed. Chapter 1139. Yuan Ao Master. According to the area the ancestral god gave me, it should be in the Yuan Ao secret region. On an arid mineral planet, a silver being broke the hard rocks. The rocks flew around, and the being already stood in space. Lo Feng looked to the sky in the distance, standing in space. This is the closest place to the Yuan Ao secret region that my slaves are able to transport to. Lo Feng nodded, then changed his godly body. The original earthling body went back to the world ring, while Blood Cloud Palace leader showed up. Blood Cloud Palace leader shook his tail, and Blood Cloud Palace showed up. Go. He entered Blood Cloud Palace leader and sped up. He immediately entered the dark universe and started to travel quickly through the dark universe toward Yuan Ao secret region. After all, he was only working for the ancestral god school, and it was not urgent. Lo Feng wouldn't teleport, as it would be tiring to teleport continuously for more than a day, on the other hand, traveling with Blood Cloud Palace was much slower than teleportation, but was still comparatively fast in the dark universe. Inside the primal secret region of the human territory, two beings stood near the palace of Primal Chaos City Leader. One was Primal Chaos City Leader, and the other was Hugh Jack's founder. Chaos. Said Hugh Jack's founder. I decided to go to Universe Ocean. I might be away from the original universe for a long time. From now on, you'll be in charge of the issues in the human race. Universe Ocean? Primal Chaos City leader frowned. For a long time? For beings like Hugh Jack's founder, it would take thousands or even tens of thousands of years for training one time. This was why when Hugh Jack's founder said a long time it might actually mean a long time. It might even be counted using eras. However, Primal Chaos City leader was baffled because he didn't think it should take Hugh Jack's founder that long to venture to Universe Ocean. Primal Chaos City leader looked to Hugh Jack's founder in shock. Is that so? That's right. I decided to venture to Tilted Peak Sector. Hugh Jack's founder said, revealing his true intention. Hugh Jack's. Said Primal Chaos City leader. Tilted Peak Sector? I got a Tilted Peak Sector remnant diagram, said Hugh Jack's founder. With that remnant diagram, I can inspect some of the areas on that diagram, and if I get lucky, I might obtain a supreme true treasure. Even if I'm not lucky enough, I might also get a pinnacle domain type true treasure. Remnant diagram? Said Primal Chaos City leader joyfully. A remnant diagram of Tilted Peak Sector? Yes. Hugh Jack's founder nodded with a smile. Even Primal Chaos City leader was excited by the news. Universe Ocean was a place broader and more dangerous than the original universe. It was boundless. No great beings knew the end of Universe Ocean. Universe Supreme Masters were low-key in the original universe. In Universe Ocean, however, they were all fierce and cunning, fighting and seizing at every chance. Universe Ocean was where the most true treasures were born. Almost all the supreme true treasures came from mysterious places in Universe Ocean like Tilted Peak Sector. It was the most dangerous land of extremis in Universe Ocean, but there were all sorts of pinnacle true treasures, and even supreme true treasures hidden in Tilted Peak Sector. Of course, it was extremely dangerous as well. Just a possibility of getting lost was enough to terrify Universe Supreme Masters. There were no directions in it, and it was very easy to get lost. Even Universe Supreme Masters who were able to defend themselves against all kinds of dangers might never be able to get out of Tilted Peak Sector. Even Universe Supreme Masters wouldn't dare adventure there without a map, but no complete map of Tilted Peak Sector existed. Fortunately, there were maps of some areas made by all the great beings who adventured in it, and they combined the maps of those areas into a remnant diagram. Remnant diagrams were highly valued by all the powers in the universe. The rarer a remnant diagram was, the fewer adventurers would be present in the areas depicted, which meant a higher chance of finding true treasures. 
one remnant diagram was priceless enough to be fought for by Universe Supreme Masters. This is a remnant diagram of tilted peak sector said Hugh Jack's founder solemnly. Based on what I know, there are few adventurers there. I got this remnant diagram by luck, and I have to get there as soon as possible. Hugh Jacks, my original body will go with you, said Primal Chaos City Leader. No. Hugh Jacks founder shook his head. The deeper it is in Tilted Peak Sector, the more dangerous it will be. The ecstasy sound alone is able to make a universe master fall into an eternal sleep. Primal Chaos City Leader was shocked. That was right. The power hidden in Tilted Peak Sector was more terrifying than that of Universe Supreme Masters. Even if he had the clone technique, his other bodies would be affected if one of his body's souls was contaminated, at which point he would fall into an eternal sleep. Which was not much different from Demise. I know all the most dangerous areas in Tilted Peak Sector said Hugh Jack's founder. My life won't be in danger unless I go to those areas. However, I'll strictly follow that remnant picture, and if it's incorrect, I'll go back immediately. Okay, be careful, said Primal Chaos City Leader. Ha ha. It's already very fortunate for me to get this remnant diagram, and this diagram covers a large area, said Hugh Jack's founder. It might be made by the powers before the Grant Incarnation. I can search further using the remnant diagram, and if I'm lucky enough, I can get a supreme true treasure by spending enough time. You'll be in charge of everything now. Hua. Hugh Jack's founder disappeared. Primal Chaos City leader stood in the sky for a long time, then nodded. If Hugh Jack's founder can get a supreme true treasure, we humans will be more powerful. He teleported himself back to his palace. Lo Feng moved swiftly through the dark universe via Blood Cloud Palace and arrived at a secret region in a corner of the original universe in eight days. It was Yuan Ao Secret Region. Yuan Ao Secret Region. Lo Feng stood in the space of Yuan Ao Secret Region. He waved his hand, and the golden toad appeared. Its eyes were still gray. This must be Yuan Ao Secret Region, based on the information from Ancestral God. There are twelve vast lands in Yuan Ao Secret Region. The smallest has a diameter of one light year, and the largest has a diameter of almost eight light years. There are many life forms of other races living on it. Lo Feng nodded. The entire secret region belongs to Yuan Ao Master. There was a significant number of life forms living in those vast lands, and it was normal that many sector lords were born in those lands. However, only a limited number of special life forms existed in one territory, and the fewer life forms there were, the more nurturing they could receive. Although there were plenty of individuals here, the number of great beings was significantly smaller than those in other territories. There are so many lives, and it's easy for undying fighters to be born, yet it's difficult for universe knights to be born, thought Lo Feng. And there are no other universe masters in Yuan Ao secret region, other than Yuan Ao Master. Besides, Yuan Ao Master is a special life form. Yuan Ao Master was a special life form with an enormous amount of power, and he roamed the universe all alone. He must have felt lonely, which may have been why he seized life forms in the universe from the weaker races. He seized hundreds of millions of individuals from different races. The most powerful one of those might only be a universe knight who didn't dare to go against a universe master. Besides, Yuan Ao Master only seized hundreds of millions of lives from trillions of life forms within a race. There were so many races in the universe, and other than pinnacle races and powerful races, there were plenty of ordinary races and weak races. Yuan Ao Master had seized life forms from 100 different races and put them in 12 vast lands for them to breed. There were more and more lives born in those lands, and Yuan Ao Master kept enlarging the lands. Now, there were zillions of individuals on those lands. There were undying fighters born in those lands, and the ordinary life forms believed in those undying fighters and followed them. Of course, there was a supreme god on those 12 lands. It was Yuan Ao Supreme God, worshipped by all in the 12 lands. Yuan Ao Master seized all those life forms, and he manipulated undying wars using the undying fighters under him, whispered Lo Feng. Ordinary life forms fight each other in those undying wars where many great beings were born. Thousands of undying fighters manipulated the undying wars, and the wars are like proving grounds. Dozens of universe knights were born in the conflicts, followed by thousands of undying fighters. Lo Feng smiled. Of course, those universe knights were useless, as he had killed more than 6,000 universe knights with one move. The real value of those universe knights was their potential to become universe masters, even one of them. Based on what ancestral god said, something hazardous to the universe origin is happening here. Lo Feng nodded. 
I'll go to those lands and inspect them. After all, all the lives in the secret region are in those lands. Su. Lo Feng teleported himself 1,000 light years away, and instantly, he had already traveled a million light years. Suddenly, a boundless land appeared before him. It was one of the 12 lands that belonged to Yuan Ao Master. This must be Juan land. Chapter 1140. The Dark Continent. There was a seven-color light membrane that was as thin as a piece of film high up in the sky covering the vast continent. It had an extremely strong resistance, but Lo Feng could easily pass through it. This resistance, I think only a sector lord will be able to penetrate. Lo Feng nodded slightly, then headed downward to the ground. Just being high up in the sky, Lo Feng could feel an extremely strong suction force from beneath. It was so strong that Lo Feng was taken aback. Such a strong force, he said. I think only those of universe level would be able to keep flying under such force. He only flashed about in midair for a short moment before he landed on the vast grounds. The moment his feet touched the ground as he landed, the strong suction force weakened to be almost negligible, all within an instant. Lo Feng commented lightly, Yuan Ao Master really put in a lot of thought and effort when he created these twelve continents. One great continent and one seven-color light membrane. There must be a repulsive force between the two so as not to feel such a strong repulsive force upon landing. Lo Feng could not help but marvel at the capability of Yuan Ao Master, who came to existence during the earliest period after the birth of the universe. At the very least, his efforts were evident in the creation of these twelve continents. Lo Feng scanned his surroundings. This was a deserted plain in pitch black darkness. At first glance, there were countless skeletons left lying on the grounds, and many were already decomposing. There were some that were still sturdy and whole, obviously, the death was not too long ago. This battlefield occupies a space around 6,000 miles, wide Lo Feng said to himself. Among the corpses lying around, there are some who were highly skilled, while the others were mediocre. The best around here is merely a sector lord. With his godly power, he investigated the entire battlefield and discovered the corpses of three sector lords. One was buried deep underground, while the other two were hidden deep within the mountains. On either side of the battlefield, there was an incomparably majestic ancient city. On the wall surrounding both cities, for a distance of at least 6,000 miles, there were large numbers of warriors on patrol. These warriors looked like they all came from different races, and the city's walls reeked of blood, as though they were telling the cruelest stories found in the history of war. Battlefield? Impregnable passes on both sides? Lo Feng underwent a rapid transformation where his wings became a dark green color, and his hairstyle became a cropped short and fiery red. His skin also turned dark green. This look resembled the soldiers of one of the races he managed to detect when he investigated the place with his godly power. I cannot identify this race at all. He conducted his investigation with his consciousness, rapidly scanning through the virtual universe, but what he found gave him a good shock. Ka Vulture Clan? This weak little race disappeared from the universe a long time ago. Only some remnants of it are left in the Yuan Ao region. Lo Feng sighed. Previously, when Yuan Ao Master rampantly plundered about, who would have expected him to leave behind a trace of this Ka Vulture Clan? Shua. With one step, Lo Feng crossed the majestic frontier of the city, which was more than 6,000 miles away from where he was. Lo Feng appeared in the sky above the incomparably luxurious and vast city, where thousands of people were bustling with excitement. Lo Feng was positioned high up in the sky, so naturally, those ordinary life forms would not be able to see him. Lo Feng checked the golden toad that he held in his left palm. Both eyes were still gray. Still gray. Every continent is immeasurably massive. This toad with its gray eyes will only be able to detect if I am within a distance of 60 million miles away from my target. How long will that take? Lo Feng took another step forward. He would continue investigating until he reached the 60 million mile range. Lo Feng embarked on a long period of investigative works. Out of these 12 continents, the one of the smallest diameter would be around 1 light year, and the biggest could be as big as 8 light years. Every time Lo Feng teleported, he made sure to maintain 60 million miles, so if he were to teleport 10,000 times a day, it would take 10 days for him to pass through a continent with a diameter of one light year. And the width itself was already one light year. If I had to look into 12 such continents, I'm afraid I would need several tens of thousands of years. Fortunately, the investigative works would only require some efforts on my part. Therefore, Lo Feng only took out a trace of his consciousness to begin on this long journey of investigative works. 
The bulk of his consciousness was completely devoted to studying the beast god path and pictures of secret engravings. In the twinkling of an eye, Lo Feng had spent half a year on this continent. Nothing? There is nothing here, either. Here. Huh. It's red now. After teleporting repeatedly, Lo Feng suddenly stopped. The eyes of the golden toad in his hand turned fiery red. After half a year of probing around, this was the first time the eyes of the golden toad had turned red. Naturally, Lo Feng was so overwhelmed with emotions that his other bodies temporarily stopped cultivating too. In that direction. Lo Feng looked up into the distance. With one teleportation, he reached around one million miles away from his target. Thereafter, Lo Feng started flying. One million miles. I can make it there in a split moment. I have to see for myself what the situation is around the target. What could be so highly regarded by ancestral god of the ancestral god school, the universe's top power, who even mentioned that something terrible might happen to the primal universe? Lo Feng did not dare to be the least bit careless and maintained due vigilance. After all, ancestral god mentioned that something bodes ill for the primal universe, so it would be no simple affair, after all. Flying high in the air, Lo Feng's godly power investigated within 6,000 miles of his surroundings, as he did not dare to probe too far away, lest he alerted his target unnecessarily and gave it the chance for escape. This was Lo Feng's first time investigating a vast continent so meticulously. This task showed him scenes depicting snippets of life on this continent, where various events of love and hatred unfolded before him. Lo Feng got to see the uniqueness of the civilization on this dark continent with his own eyes, and that made him happy. Interesting fellow, unlucky fellow. Lo Feng's power suddenly locked down on a certain spot of this continent. Mighty flame family, just you wait. I, Bua, will become the great holy one, and then I will raise the entire mighty flame fortress to the ground. A burly rider was seen on the back of his gigantic demon beast with tusks. He was tall, bulky, and his entire body was covered with sturdy armor. By the sides of his demon beast were two large, blood-red axes. On his face, there was a scar slashed across half of his face, adding on to his ferocity. How dare you insult me like that? I served him well, fought for him with my life, and yet he dared insult me so. Even my maid was snatched away from me and given to someone else. I will take my revenge, I definitely will. I will be back, and I will come back as the great holy one, and stamp on the entire mighty flame fortress, until it becomes nothing but a flat piece of land. The demon beast rider cursed and swore. Then his demon beast took off in a sprint. Hung. Long. Long. Rumbling of hooves were heard from behind. The demon beast rider looked behind, and for the moment, his eyes widened as he went pale. Behind him, an army of at least 100 demon beast riders were charging toward him with murderous intentions. Georgia ga ga ga. A piercing sound was heard from the sky, causing this demon beast rider, Bua to look up. In midair, there was a gigantic beast that was fiery red all over, and its scaled armor and wings were surrounded by a ring of flames. Fire pterosaur. There are only nine fire pterosaurs in Mighty Flame Fortress, and just to kill me, a fifth grade rider, they have mobilized a fire pterosaur and 100 demon beast riders. Bua's eyes revealed a look of insanity as he grabbed a rider's rifle that was a good 36 feet long from the back of his demon beast in one swift move. With both hands, he held the rifle and took aim at the fire pterosaur fast approaching him from high up in the air. Beads of perspiration rolled down Bua's face as his entire body trembled. He gritted his teeth and stared. It was not fear he felt, it was because the fire pterosaur charging down from the sky was overwhelmingly oppressive. To be a worthy opponent of a fire pterosaur, one needed to be a ninth grade rider, which was just second to the level of a holy one. He was merely a fifth grade rider. Combining the efforts of 1,000 riders of his level would still be unable to defeat one fire pterosaur. Hong. The demon beast he was riding went soft in the knees and fell. Bua fell off its back in midair and crashed to the ground rapidly. Although his body was in a somersault as he fell, his hands were still holding onto the rifle and aiming at midair. Mighty flame family. Mighty flame family. You wretched beings. Bua roared. Even if I, the great Bua, were to perish now, I would come back as a demon rider to hunt you all. Ha ha ha. Demon rider? And your dreams. The fire pterosaur was hovering in midair while the other demon beast riders caught up at top speed. Soon, Bua was heavily surrounded. This troop of demon beast riders. 
Lo Fang judged from where he was, high up in the sky, and seemed to consist of three different races, in terms of power, that flying beast should probably be of a star level 7th to 8th grade standard. Although flying was usually only possible for beings of universe level, this beast had wings and the innate ability it could rely on, so flying was already almost possible. As for those riders, they should mostly be of the Star Traveler level standard, the highest of the lot would, at most, be at a Star Traveler level 9th grade standard. A rider wearing the most elegant armor, who was riding a snow-white, single-horned beast, said, Boo ah, I am not going to be a bully. My underlings are not fighting you, only me. I will fight you. Come, come, Uncle Boo ah shall spank your bottom. Boo ah, holding onto his gigantic rifle, grinned. He was like a crazy demon as he stared at the handsome rider. He was aware that before the mighty flame family, he was a puny nobody, even though he knew that putting up a resistance would cost him his life, he was not going to take it lying down. Suddenly. Everything between heaven and earth fell into silence. It was as though time stopped. Even the wild grass by the roadside that was bending in the direction of the winds froze in their respective positions. The riders and the beast hovering in midair stopped moving too. What, what is happening? Bua was terrified as he held onto his rifle. A lone figure approached him slowly, a smile on his face as he looked at Bua. You shall do said the man with his dark green wings. He looked at Bua, and an invisible force held Bua captive. Shua. Around 600 miles away, in the middle of a deserted plain, Bua was released and fell onto the ground. He immediately stood up, while continuing to blabber, I must have encountered a ghost. Could Uncle Bua have met with the demon ghost? Hmm? Where is the fire pterosaur? Where, where is this? Ah. The big, burly man looked at the figure standing in front of him with great terror. The figure wore a black robe that looked harmlessly simple. With his dark green wings and skin and his fiery red cropped hair, his entire being seemed to exude a faint, mysterious aura. Sir. Bua bowed immediately. Lo Feng looked at Bua. After arriving at your world, I needed to find a life form to ask about certain things. You are the chosen one. I know you are fearful of that mighty flame family. Fret not. The troop that was after you will think you have escaped far away. Oh. You are guessing who I am? A holy one? A legendary being? A demigod? Bua's fear intensified. This being before him knew all the thoughts that were going through his mind. Lo Feng laughed. Being at universe level, he could easily conduct a soul search on another being at a star traveler level, given his current power. There was no way the thoughts of such a weak little fellow could escape investigation. Lo Feng teased this fellow for fun, but at the same time, he was speedily scanning through his memories to conduct a meticulous search. Interesting world. Interesting young fellow. Lo Feng looked at Bu Ah. At the same time, he turned to look far away into the mountains. Whatever caused the eyes of the golden toad to turn red is in that direction, and what lives there is actually what the locals call a legendary being. I admire your character, but I am curious to know what you will become if you own great power. Lo Feng studied Bu Ah, who was in a mixed state of fear and uneasiness. Suddenly, a kiwi fruit seed, something ordinary that came from the universe, appeared on Lo Feng's palm. It was one of the countless materials hidden within Lo Feng's world ring. The next moment, it transformed into a stream of green light and enshrouded Bu Ah. Ah. Bu Ah was in great shock. Within an instant, he was entirely enveloped in that green light. Under the subtle control of Lo Feng's godly power, Bu Ah's body continuously absorbed the essence of energy and achieved breakthroughs repeatedly. His life gene level was soaring at a frightening speed, almost instantaneously. Within a short moment, a ninth grade universe level being was born. Lo Feng smiled as he watched everything happen. Since he had already obtained the information he needed, then what he had done to Bu Ah was merely out of randomness to appease his earlier curiosity. To a great universe master. The value of a small seed taken from the universe could most probably be neglected. Turning around, Lo Feng stepped forward and left. Chapter 1141. Pava God. Bu Ah felt endless pain permeating his body. It came from the improvement of his life gene. He couldn't even think straight. He could barely open his eyes. All of a sudden, even the mountain range in the distance became clear. I, I. Bu Ah felt that his hearing and sight were thousands of times better. So powerful. Impressive. The scars on Bu Ah's face had already disappeared, and his face became clear. He extended his thick arms and swung them. Pa. The armor on his body cracked. 
Bua felt that the armor on his body was as fragile as paper. It could be destroyed if he simply tightened his muscles, which dazed him. I, I. Bua immediately started to search himself, and he was totally shocked. Is, is this real? Bua floated in the sky, and the original power in his body made him growl. Hung. He surged like a trace of light, then flew in an S-shaped curve. He dove and stopped when just one inch away from the ground. Ha ha ha. It's real. I became a saint. And I'm a pinnacle saint now. It's only one step away from a legend. Ha ha ha. The Yuan Ao Supreme God. The Great Po Va God. Bua was exhilarated. There were billions of billions of life forms on Juan land, and it was a long way from level 1 to level 9. Bua, as an example, had become an apprentice of a knight, and all he had done was to deal with minor issues for a second level knight. He could grow only after being instructed. After becoming a knight, he would need to go through one war after another, wars among horde leaders and even wars among empires. He had been to armies and slave camps, and he had survived all of them. He successfully passed level 3 and level 4 and entered Mighty Flame Family, becoming one of its knights. Mighty Flame Family was a family that ruled a large area, and there was a saint in the family. It was extremely difficult to progress from level 3 to level 4. And this was the case from level 6 to level 7, as well. As for becoming a saint from level 9, it was even more difficult. Once someone became a saint, he would be able to travel the sky and land, and to become a great being on Jew and land. When someone became a legend, it was an incredible achievement. It would be easy for them to establish a horde leader kingdom, and once someone became a half-god, he would be able to establish an empire. Those who were under level 3 didn't matter at all. It had taken Bua decades to become a fifth level knight. Saint. I'm now a pinnacle saint, and I'm one step away from becoming a legend. Bua was thrilled. I heard that only being blessed by God can make someone's power surge like this. Otherwise, it might take me thousands of years to become a pinnacle saint. That great being must be a god. Isn't that Pava God? Bua's body trembled. There were hundreds of gods on Juan land, and each of them ruled areas of trillions of square miles. Other god? Bua was terrified. Godly wars were the norm on Juan land. I can't tell anyone, not even my wife and children. It'll be a disaster if I do so. Bua clenched his teeth and smirked. He looked toward Mighty Flame Castle. Mighty Flame Castle. The leader only became a saint around 100 years ago, and it's a long way to go for him to become a pinnacle saint. My joyful days have come. I'll rule a land, build a castle, and have tens of thousands of women living in my castle. Bua shook his body, and the armor turned into ashes. He gathered his original power and made new armor, then flew toward that mighty flame castle. Lo Feng stood in the sky and overlooked the mountains in the distance. Furious Flame Mountain. The target is there. Lo Feng looked in the distance. The ancestral god from the ancestral god school showed up, is it a life or a valuable? Lo Feng had already completely forgotten about Bua who he just rescued. He only needed to get to know the world, which was why he had chosen Bua, and he had compensated him by improving his life gene level. According to the memories of Bua, the mountain in front of Lo Feng was called Furious Flame Mountain, and a legend lived in there. A legend? Lo Feng shook his head and smiled. Although Juan land was in a universe secret region, Yuan Ao Master put too many life forms in the land, which led to overpopulation. They were only able to get a tiny portion of universe energies. Besides, Yuan Ao Master only seized life forms from weak races who had limited potential, so most of the individuals on Juan land were not more powerful than adult earthlings. Level 1 to level 3 were under Star Traveler level. Level 4 to level 6 were Star Traveler level, and level 7 to level 9 were Star level. Saints were at Universe level. Legends were at Domain Lord level. Half deities were Sector Lords. As for deities, they were undying. More than one legend lives in this angry flame mountain, Lo Feng thought as he was able to sense the power ripple. I can't let anyone go. Lo Feng became solemn. Angry Flame Mountain was over 600,000 miles long, and there were powerful demon beasts living in it, so no civilians were living around the mountain. Deep inside Angry Flame Mountain, in a black castle surrounded by mountains, boiling magma flowed under the castle, and there were strange beasts living in the magma. There were golden armored knights around the castle, and all of them were at the ninth level. The castle was surrounded by magma. The black metal bridge was connecting the door and the outside. A white-caped elder approached from the distance, and each step took him over 300 feet. 
there was white light glowing around him, and Lo Feng could tell that he was a legend. Soon, that legend walked onto the bridge. Open the door, shouted the elder. Yes. The door opened slowly, and a flamed knight stood in front of the door. That knight was also a legend. Why are you here? Asked the flamed knight. Don't you know you can't come here unless you have something urgent? I do have something urgent to tell the great Pava God, said the white-caped elder as he walked inside the black castle. Inside a palace of the castle, a gleaming undying fighter sat on the throne. Pava God looked down at the servants and was listening to his servants report to him. He felt superior. After all, he manipulated the wars and the slaughtering in his territory, making the empires more and more hostile toward each other. He would only show himself when everything went out of his control. You've done well, said Pava God. The white-caped elder began to tear up from the great deity's compliment. The white-caped elder was waiting for instructions for the next step. However, he saw a blurry, golden light. He raised his head and found that. Where's Pava God? Pava God, who had previously been on the throne and emanating golden light, had disappeared. The servants and the three half-deities were all dazed. Then a half-deity said, Pava God is resting now. I need instructions for the next step. The white-caped elder was anxious, but he answered, sure. Those in the palace all left, including the half-deities, as they all thought that Pava God had left for something important. What they didn't know was that Pava God was sitting on the throne all the time, but those sector lords and domain lords weren't able to see him anymore. Who? Who are you? Pava God gazed at the man in front of him, terrified as never before. The dimming golden light covered an area of 300 square feet, and the power contained in the golden light petrified Pava God. Lo Feng looked at Pava God in front of him, and couldn't help laughing at himself inside. I was so careful and performed the most powerful binding skill I have, Golden Country. I didn't expect my target to be a weak undying fighter. Lo Feng had performed Golden Country in the sky above Angry Flame Mountain, and he immediately narrowed the range when he found that his target was too weak, which was why those half-deities saw a golden flash. Tell me everything important in your life, said Lo Feng. Sure, sure, said Pava God. I was born in... Lo Feng seemed to be listening, but actually, he had performed an illusion. After all, his mind and willpower were at the universe master level, and he was a spiritual force leader, even though he was not good at illusion. He was a great being following the engraving path, he had created several illusion skills, which easily trapped Pava God. Lo Feng easily searched his memories. Lo Feng could tell from the golden toad that his target was Pava God in front of him. However, he couldn't believe that a mere undying fighter could be harmful to the original universe, or that ancestral god sent him just for this. Lo Feng felt that something wrong. He could sense that Pava God was only a part of the whole. Chapter 1142. Torch Smelting. An undying fighter who had lived for an eternity had enormous memories. Fortunately, Lo Feng's brain worked incredibly fast, though it still took him around five minutes to categorize all the memories of Pava God. Still, the result dazed Lo Feng a little bit. I. I didn't find anything special or worth hesitating. Lo Feng was a bit surprised. I became a general after becoming a saint. Said Pava God, speaking like a robot. He had lost all the light in his eyes. Lo Feng looked at Pava God, frowning. Pava God was an undying fighter born on Juan Empire, and he had started from the bottom. After becoming a half-deity, he had established an empire. He led the empire to join wars upon wars, and after the empire fell, he started to adventure in Juan land alone. Eventually, he became an undying fighter. Pava God's soul was then controlled by Torch Smelting Master God, and then he joined Torch Smelting Master God. Based on Pava God's memories, the hundreds of undying fighters on Juan land were divided into two teams, one of them was on the Torch Smelting team, and the other was on the Mohi team. When the teams fought each other, they were led by top-tier great beings from different empires, and they were led by undying fighters. That's all. There's nothing special in Pava God's memories. Lo Feng was confused as the memories of Pava God were normal. Now that I know his memories. Lo Feng looked at Pava God sitting in front of him. Following ancestral God's order, everyone who makes the eyes of Golden Toad turn red should be killed. The dimming golden light was surrounding Pava God as well. Lo Feng moved his mind, and the power from Golden Country annihilated Pava God's godly body. The power of Golden Country was much stronger than a universe master's control over space and time, and it was at the same level as a top-tier domain-type true treasure. If it was fully utilized, top-tier universe overlords would be executed. 
as for a mere undying fighter. A mere slice of power could annihilate him. There was a vast desert on the vast Yuan land, and at the end of the desert was a huge forest at the end of a boundless swamp, bordered by mountain ranges rimmed with volcanoes. A towering palace stood at the center of the volcanoes. This was the top godly palace of the torch smelting camp. It was where torch smelting master god lived. The sinister aura of the godly palace and the sector lord level demon beasts were enough to stop countless great beings. Torch smelting master god was holding a scepter and standing at the high of the godly palace. He looked confused. Pava god died. Based on the information Pava god gave me, the enemy is someone too powerful for him to fight, and he can emanate golden domain, which was strong enough to terrify him. Can it be other master gods? Torch smelting master god wondered. He didn't expect it to be a being from the outside, as Yuan Ao's secret region belonged to Yuan Ao master, who had a high status in the universe. Yuan Ao master had become a universe master at the start of the universe, and he wasn't easy to contend with. No powers were willing to mess with Yuan Ao master. Torch smelting master god found it impossible for Yuan Ao master to have killed that one. That power must have at least come from a master god. Based on the descriptions, he looks like someone from Ka Vulture Clan, but Ka Vulture Clan doesn't have a master god. Was he turned from my enemies? Also, that golden domain is so powerful. Is that from a domain type true treasure? Or a domain type treasure? There were only a few dozen universe knights under Yuan Ao Master, and only three of them had been bestowed true treasures. Why didn't he kill Pava God right away? Torch smelting master god was irritated. Although he controlled Pava God's soul, Pava God had stopped sending messages after first contact with the mysterious being, and he couldn't get in touch with Pava God. As for God Country Transportation, Torch Smelting Master God hadn't even thought of that, as he didn't want to fight a Master God. Humph. I'll wait and see. There are over 100 undying fighters under me, and I won't take revenge this time. If you do that again, don't blame me for starting a war between Master Gods. The red eyes of Torch Smelting Master God glinted fiercely. Lo Feng floated above Angry Flame Mountain. His golden horned beast body and Masha body were checking the objects in Pava God's world ring, but none of those objects made the toad's eyes turn red. Lo Feng waved his hand, and a golden token showed up in his hands. Ancestral God. Lo Feng used it with familiarity, as it was exactly like the token given by Master Sitting Mountain Guest. Ancestral God gave a response quickly. What is it, Lo Feng? I found a target who was an ordinary undying fighter. He was the one who made the eyes turn red. I've inspected his memories, and that undying fighter has always been living on Juan land. There was nothing special about him. Lo Feng reported. Did I finish the task? Ha ha ha. It's only been a short while, Lo Feng. You've only killed an ordinary undying fighter who was in no way harmful to the original universe. Keep killing. Kill all those who turn the eyes red. Then when should I stop? asked Lo Feng, as he didn't want to keep killing. I'll tell you when it's done, and the universe origin will tell me, too. Go, Lo Feng. According to the instructions given by the universe origin, that Pava God is only a foot soldier. Keep searching. The communications were cut off. Lo Feng put away the golden token and shook his head. The golden toad can only inspect an area of 100 million square kilometers. Juan land is so large, and I've only searched a small part of it after half a year. If I keep doing that, I might alert someone. Fortunately, no one on Juan land can escape me, unless there are some hidden supreme beings. I might as well begin. Lo Feng infused his Shi Wu wings with his burning godly power. Hong. Long. Dimming golden light enveloped everywhere on Juan land, the magma, the abyss, and the islands where demon beasts lived or death ocean. They were all covered by the golden light. Even the apex of Juan land was covered. This was golden country. Golden Country could cover an area with a diameter of 80 light years at most, and Juan land was obviously much smaller, so it was incredibly easy to encompass the whole land. Even top tier universe overlords can be killed in my Golden Country, and even a universe master will be slowed down significantly here. Lo Feng immediately stopped the space ripples so that no great beings could teleport themselves. It was easy to manipulate time and space in Golden Country, so a space seal was easy. Lo Feng stood above Angry Flame Mountain and sensed everywhere on Ju and land carefully. Ha! Huh. Why is there a trace of gold on the sky? Look! It's like the ocean is covered with a golden yarn. Everyone on Ju and land was thrilled. Fortunately, the golden light was inconspicuous. 
It covered an enormous area, so one could only distinguish the golden light by looking carefully. What is that? Is it a master god? All the undying fighters on Ju and land were shocked. The weaker ones couldn't feel it, but undying fighters could tell that there was boundless power contained in the dim glow, as if they would all be annihilated if it was let out a little bit. Little did they know, the two master gods, Torch Smelting Master God and Mohi Master, were also terrified. Torch Smelting Master God held a scepter, and the golden light was binding him like ropes. He couldn't move at all. His eyes were filled with terror. How is it so powerful? He said. I can't even move a bit. And the space around me is sealed. Ah. Damn it. Muhi Master God's scorpion tail was slashing, but the golden light didn't even give him a chance to fight. His triangular head roar. You are now supreme god. Are you punishing me? Lo Feng nodded. Good. No hidden beings. The most powerful beings are those two universe knights, Torch Smelting Master God and Mohi Master God. Lo Feng freed other areas and only kept the space seal around Torch Smelting Master God and Mohi Master God. Shua. Shua. Lo Feng teleported twice and showed up 10 million kilometers away from Torch Smelting Master God and Mohi Master God, inspecting the area using the Golden Toad. Mohi Master God didn't make the eyes red, but Torch Smelting Master God. This is the origin. Lo Feng stood above a volcano around 10 million kilometers away from Torch Smelting Master God, and the eyes of the Golden Toad turned red even from a distance.